What's up, everybody? Hey. Uh, I'm Will Hungerford, organized play developer at Privateer Press, and I'm here with uh, team leader. Will Oz Schoonover. Yes, development manager. Development manager. My boss. Press. And uh, what are we doing today, Oz? We're going to play Company of Iron live oh, on super... the internet. <laughs> live on the internet. So the game comes out October 25th. There is a starter box for it. You have two complete 20-point armies in here. Yep. Because you play smaller armies than regular games of War Machine. 20 or 25 points. Yes, and we're going to play a 25-point game. So there's two options when you play, 20 or 25 points. Sure. Well, before we get started, for a lot of people, this is going to be their first exposure to an actual game of Company of Iron. Uh, why don't you tell everyone sort of the basics of the game? Not, like, teach them how to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, how we make a force and some of the, the cool differences in a Company of Iron game, and then I'm going to murder you. You, you hope. No, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so the basics are this is Infantry War Machine. You don't have warcasters, you don't have large bases, you don't have things that attach to warcasters, you don't have things that can't move. You're playing a scouting force mm -hmm. on a smaller table with a lot more terrain. And it's very narrative and casual. Yes. We want people to be building fun armies, having fun, and the game comes with six scenarios that are very narrative. Mm -hmm. Some of them are planting bombs, the one we're going to play today, one of us has to find some missing scouting notes so we can set up our next attack. Okay. Those kind of things happen. And we're supporting it narratively and casually in organized play and in leagues and in uh, no quarter. Yeah. There'll be new scenarios coming out constantly. And anytime you pick up anything that's like a promo item, like a new promo commander card, yeah. which we'll explain in a second, uh, those are immediately usable because there's yeah. not going to be any tournament organized play for this. It's meant to be casual. So any cool... Uh, Promo cards or promo figures or anything else that comes out for the game we ever make, uh, you don't have to wait to be like, oh, is this tournament legal? Because there's no tournaments. Yeah. Play with your friends. There will be organized play for it, oh, yeah. but not tournaments. It's so casual. Yeah. It's so casual. So uh, we're playing two 25-point lists. Yes, we are. Why don't you tell everyone the basics of how you make a company of iron list and what is different than normal War Machine? So besides what I already listed with no casters and those kind of things, you can also only have one card worth of stuff. So you can have one unit or one solo, or a group of solos if you buy them off of one card, or all the weapon attachments that attach to a unit, and those kind of things. Basically every card's FA1. Yes. Okay. So I've got Feral Brigands at the maximum size, Okay. Maximus, Yep. and Agata, the brand new Feral solo that comes in the starter box. Okay. Uh, so in addition to th those restrictions of it being FA1, what are the other, the other major restrictions on what you can pick and, and take in the army? So besides that, you can take almost everything you want that's not one of those excluded models. Yeah. But you can't mix mercenaries and minions in the faction armies unless they're partisan, or unless you have a commander card that breaks the rules. Okay. So no large bases, no, uh, no models with a mobile. Yeah. Uh, everything else you just said, and is there any others we're missing? Anything nope. else that you can't take? That's oh, it. nothing that has battle group commander, so we can't take well, it. Well, focus manipulation, fear manipulation is the specific rule. But yeah, yeah things that can control war beasts and warjacks. You know, you can take light Warjacks and Warbeasts, yep. lesser Warbeasts, mm -hmm. and Warbeast packs. So there are still Warjacks and Warbeasts running around, but it's the small stuff that you could take on a scouting mission, not the big stompy guys. And those are controlled like Jack Marshals yes. or, or Beast Wardens. And on the Beast side. Warden is the new ability we entered into on the Horde side that is basically Jack Marshall. Okay, cool. So your force, Maximus, Agata, full unit of Brigands. Mm -hmm. Do you have a name for your force? Uh, not at the moment. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to name it still. All right. So uh, I'm playing a unit of Cephalix Overlords, uh, a Dominator who has taken over a, a pair of Kiyazi Eliminators, mm -hmm. and then a unit of, of Mindbenders. And yeah. uh, the Dominator is actually going to be my commander, because every game you pick one model that's either a unit leader, an officer, or a solo to be your commander of your entire force. And before the game begins, you pick one of these cool commander upgrade cards yep. to give them a special ability. Um, a lot of the, the, the cards you get to play throughout the game, which, do you want to sort of explain how the cards work? So, the first thing we have to explain is that the cards are a separate balancing factor. Right. So you build an army with the points in War Machine, you use the stats in War Machine, you use most of the abilities in War Machine. Mm -hmm. But certain things in this game work differently than a game of War Machine because you don't have access to Warcasters and all the support spells and yeah. all those kind of things. So to balance out things that need a little bit of help or don't need a little bit of help, we've put in this deck of cards. Right. So every card, I'll show you guys one. Every card has a top, which is a battle plan, and a bottom, which is an asset. And the asset's also shown on the top corner and is an icon. So your battle plans, there are 40 unique ones. There are 40 cards in the deck, mm -hmm. and every card's separate. They work a lot like mini feats. Sure. So they're give a unit pathfinder, those kind of things. 
And then the assets, there's five kinds of assets, and they have a common, uncommon rarity scheme. The common ones are boosts and rerolls. Right. And those work just like War Machine. You mm -hmm. can boost a roll one time. You can reroll anything you want to reroll. Yep. Then there's additional dice, which are a little bit more rare. And then there are shakes, so you can shake, shake stationaries and stuff. And then something called Recover that works with the new casualty roll system. So models in this game don't quite die as fast as models in War Machine. Yeah, when you go down, you roll on a casualty table, yes. and you either die, start bleeding out, which you'll see as we play the game, yeah. or you're just knocked down. Mm -hmm. And if you have tough, it means you get to re-roll on that chart the first time you're If injured. you're dead. Yeah, if you're, if you're dead. If you would get killed, yeah. you get to re-roll it. Yeah. Uh, and so really kind of the, the, the last thing to talk about is uh, I think that's, that's kind of all the basics. You mentioned that some rules work different. And so if people are looking at this and they're like, oh, man, incorporeal breaks this. Some core rules are also yeah. different in Company of Iron. Like incorporeal, for example, says if you attack an incorporeal model and you don't have a magic weapon or you're not doing magical damage, you roll one less damage yeah. die. So you can, you know, somebody's going to bring in Black Banes to a Company of Iron game, which is cool, by the way. You can still get around it because you have these boost cards you get to play. One of the other big things is any ability that adds or returns models to units mm -hmm. cycles cards in your hand instead. Right. So Alexia, you don't just get to swarm the yeah. board. So I think that's enough, like, general yeah. intro. Uh, oh, by the way, my team mm -hmm. is Team Brain Drain. Cool. So just letting you know that's coming for you. Uh, what scenario I think are we this playing? is the, for, just for a, a, a stand in name, it's yeah. the Pork Patrol. The Pork Patrol oh, yeah. versus Brain Drain? Yeah. I dig yeah, yeah. it. Okay. Uh, what's our scenario today? So our scenario is the very first one in the book. Okay. So there are three books in the game. There's a core rules and advanced rules and a scenario guide. And the scenario guide also has terrain in it. Okay. The advanced rules are all the things you're not going to play with in the base game. So Jack Marshalling, Soul Collection, Beast all Warden, all that kind of stuff. Yes. Okay. But the core rules cover everything and they're built off the War Machine Prime rules and then edited where they needed to be to make this game a different game. Okay. So our first scenario is called Lost Patrol. Okay. So one of us yes. had some scouts yes. out in enemy territory, and those scouts were all killed. Okay. But they were carrying important things, maps or something. Okay. And that force that was hoping those scouts would come back has to then recover those lost details. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll to see who is the attacker and who's the defender. Uh, is the attacker the, the one who their scouts were wiped out and they're trying to recover the notes? Yes. And the defender's the one that wiped them out uh -huh. and are trying to protect them? Yeah. So we can roll like normal, right? We can roll like normal. Let's talk it out. So uh, you guys are obviously the bad guys in this situation. Correct. And I feel like the pork patrol are the ones that were patrolling. Yeah. So they probably had their scout patrol wiped out and now they're coming in to get... Because they would keep notes. Sethlicks don't write things down. Yeah. They, they keep it up it's top. All, it's all, yeah. So how about you be the attacker, I be the defender? You're trying to sure. Get, sure so sure. you're trying to get the notes back, okay. and I'm trying to stop you. So what's going to happen then is attacker defender. Some scenarios are asymmetrical, and some are symmetrical. Yeah. So there might be objectives we're fighting over along the middle of the board, or loot scattered on the middle of the board. Yeah. But a lot of the scenarios involve you doing something different from your opponent, like blowing up his objectives, or yeah. for this this one recovering lost scouting stuff. These are pieces of ham with notes written on them. They are. They're ham notes. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Hey, it's John. I'm going to jump in for just a second yeah. because uh, uh, there was a really good question asked by Mr. Carlson. Will the rules be available separately? So the rules and the card deck, which is the only thing you really need to play, will be sold separately. There's also other stuff we're going to talk about closer to October 25th about availability of other things. But for right now, we are saying that you can get the rules and the cards separately. So if you have a large War Machine collection that's full of Signar and Pharaoh models, and you don't really want to buy that box set because you don't need those models in there, you can still get stuff. But, they, but you can also buy the box set and give one of the armies to your friend to convince yeah. him to play and those kinds of things. You wouldn't get Agatha or Gwyn that way. You wouldn't though. get Agatha or Gwyn, but maybe that's an okay sacrifice no, for you. Okay. So what am I doing with your ham notes? So first, we're going to set up. Okay. So... In this game, it's asymmetrical. Okay. So you get seven inches of deployment as the defender. Okay. And I get two inches of deployment as the attacker. Okay. But the first thing we do before that okay. is we do arrange those tokens okay. so that you can try and bluff me. Okay. So there's a one, a two, and a three there. Okay. They're going to get placed face down. Okay. And only I know what they are? And before the game starts, I roll a D3 to see which one I'm looking for. Okay. So when you're setting them up, you don't know which one I want. But, but I, after I roll, you know which one I'm looking for, and I don't. Okay, so I can know which one is the one, the two, and the three, but yes. you can't. Okay, so, so you have to set those up at least seven inches from your edge of the table. Okay, got and it. And at least eight inches apart. At least eight inches apart. I yes. can do that. So I you can can't it. clump them all together. Well, yeah, that would be stupid. 
I mean, it'd be good for me. It, it could be, but that would mean also that maybe I could just score them really fast and win the game. All I have to do to win this game in five rounds is touch one of those and flip it over. And to flip it over, what do you have to do? A mission action. Okay. So we introduce a new concept in this that is sacrificing a move or a combat action to do a mission action. Okay. And I, um, we did not set this up so that I'd have an advantage because we talked out the narrative. Yeah. But I did take the mission specialist <laughs> commander card, which lets me do one mission action once a game, regardless of what else my guy does. So he can yeah. run up and like flip that thing over in, and win the game for In him. case you're all wondering, we're doing this live. Like None of this is staged or planned. Yeah. So like yeah, yeah. things could go horribly wrong or right for me. Yeah. All yeah, right, so see what happens. I'm going to put one of them there. Okay. Don't tell me what they are. I'm Don't accidentally do flip it over. I'm not going to do it. They would have to be eight inches away. At least eight inches apart. That is a nightmare. All right. D trust me. When, when it comes to me, like, sending a group of dudes to a token, yeah. you'll want them far apart. I kind of bumped that one. And then this last one, let me move my guys out of the way for a over second. Over on the edge over there. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to kind of go in a straight line along the back edge and be mm -hmm. like, we found all this delicious ham. And one of those pieces of ham is real, real important. Correct. All right. And that's also kind of marks my deployment zone. Yes. I, I should have these exactly at seven. So, yeah. Okay. So you set up within seven, I set up within two, and then I go first. So I don't have I'm the attacker. I don't have any advanced deployment, nor do I have any ambush. But if I did, while I'm setting up, well, you want to explain how that works? So every scenario has a chart in it that tells you, as the attacker and defender, how much ambush and advanced deploy you get. Okay. It is a number like one or two. So if you have a unit with ambush, yep. you can ambush that many models from that unit. Okay. If you have a unit with advanced deploy, you can advanced deploy that many models from that unit. Because the other thing we didn't mention, in case um, there are people out there that are seeing this for the very first time, is even though you buy armies in units, you activate guys individually. So if you're familiar with War Machine, everything acts like a solo. Speaking of individual guys, uh, you should call out which, which, which guys you're deploying as you're deploying them so, we, so the viewers at home know Yeah, the viewers are... Guys. You just have a, an angle John, on don't you tell me how to down. live my life. Okay, I will do that instead. Uh, so I'm deploying my Mindbender unit first. Yeah. Uh, what's my command on my Mindbender? Uh, it's seven? Ah, I really want to be able to... Like, the command doesn't matter because there's no formation, but I have to th be near them to be able to channel through yes. them. In order for models to, to use abilities that are based on formation... They have to be in that model's command range, but they don't have to stay in that model's command range. Yeah. So, so yeah, if you want to start popping your judges to shoot sprays at me, they have to be within seven of oh, that guy. That is but they don't have to stay within seven of that, that guy. That is 100% going to happen. Oh, I know. I'm My unit for overlords, it. however, are going to do literally whatever they want. Yeah. They don't care at all. And then my Dominator, who is the leader of my entire force. So the card I took was Master Strategist. Mm -hmm. It says I can play two battle plans from the cards instead of yep. one a turn. And it also gives me plus one command. So my command is 11 inches, which is My real, command is 10 because I'm good. 7 plus 3. Uh, where do you girls want to go? I'm going to bump you up here. And then they work really well together. So we're just going to have them sort of chill near each other. All right. Uh, I'm set up. Okay. So I get two inches. Okay. Which is basically... But you get to go first. Just barely over a model's width. I'm going to put some guys over here. We're going to uh, spread Maximus and Agatha out because they're my murder machines. God, so much piggy to kill. Got a lot of pigs in this pork patrol. How many total points are you guys playing with? 25 we are points. Playing you guys with are playing 25. Okay. Yeah, 25. Playing points. My army is technically one point down. I'm at 24 points. And then we should talk about how many cards we get in our, our hand. We're about to do that. Okay. So I think this is my deployment. Okay. Okay. My pigs are scattered across the back of the board at two inches. Yep, that's all two inches. Okay. So when you pick an army, you then check a chart that's available free online as a PDF. Mm -hmm. And it tells you the requisition cost of all the things in your army. Okay. And that requisition cost is a minus two to plus two swing. On your hand size. On your hand size, yes. Requisition cost applies to your hand size. So, so in a 25-point game, yeah. we play with a hand size of six yes. as the base number. And then we lose or gain cards depending on the quality of our models. Okay. So Maximus, being a berserking madman. And just so everyone understands that, at a 20-point game, you get five-card hand size. At a 25-point, it's six-card hand size. Every beginning of each round, you draw back up to your hand size. And then yeah. depending on the quality of the models, your maximum hand size is going to be higher or lower. And so a question I've gotten before, your hand size doesn't change and adjust as you play. Nope. It's it, the starting hand size. So, so go ahead and explain what your hand size is so based on the quality Maximus of the models. Maximus 
is a minus one. Yep. Everything else is a zero. So, so I am playing this yeah. game with a hand size of five. Yeah. Because Pharaoh Brigands with their with their rat five, they need some help. Mm-hmm. So they have the, CR? No, they don't. They don't have no, they don't have that. <laughs> that was Mark II under Carver. So I have five cards to play with. Okay. Boost, rerolls, battle plans, all those things. So I start with six cards. Yes, sir. The eliminators are minus two. Which we will see why during this game, I'm sure. The overlords are minus one. Uh-huh. A minimum unit of Mindbenders is zero, but a maximum unit of Mindbenders is minus one. So I've got two cards as my hand size. Here, here you go. There's your hand size. And, but uh, normally you can only play one of the battle plans and infinite amount of the, the bottom ones. Yep. But my, uh, my commander card that I gave him, my master strategist, so that I get to play two battle plans, a.k.a. both of my battle yeah. plans a turn. Yeah. I don't have much, I don't have much like boosting and stuff. All right, so okay. you go, you go so you first. Need it. Okay, so I'm going to look at my hand real fast. You don't need Ooh, to do I that. Got some, I got some nice cards. All right. look, at, look at all these cards. They're amazing. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to win. I'm going to win so good. Not that that matters. Because uh -huh. we're going to narratively, casually play a game. And sure. victory is not important. It but my pigs are totally trying to win. Yeah, well, we don't know what to do with you. Cephalix mainly control human brains. Yeah, pig brains are a little weird. Leave that to Arcadius. Okay, so I pick any model in my army. Yep. And I activate him. So, pigs are speed five. My pharaoh brigands. So this little guy, he's going to run up to that forest. Okay. He's going to stop. I'm going to mark him that he's activated with an activation token that's available in the box. And like we said earlier, you're the bad guys, so you're going to use the dark side of the activation tokens, and yep. I'm going to use the light side because I'm obviously the good guys in this situation. That makes sense. And the reason that you mark everybody is because when you're going back and forth with a lot of models like this... When uh, stuff gets mixed in, it yeah. gets complicated who's done. And we should note, this is a bigger... This is probably one of the biggest games of Company of Iron in terms of model count. Well, some of my normal armies are like, at 25 points, are five or six models. Yeah. Especially if you bring a light jack. It yeah. can be really, really light. I, I painted up for Attack X last weekend. Tharn Blood Pack. I'm going to have this Mindbender And run. Argus Moonhound, which was seven models and 24 points. Yeah, I'm going to have this Mindbender run. And what size table are you playing on, guys? We're playing on a rumble mat, which is a 30 by 30. Uh, what's the range on those guns? Their range is 10. Their pow is 12. <sighs> That's a nightmare. But, but guns are very powerful on Company of Iron. Another thing we haven't talked about All yet. Right. I'm actually going to run this guy right here. Since guns are so powerful in War Machine and, and attacks are so lethal, and since this is narratively about scouting patrols, we put in an extra modifier for attacks. Mm -hmm. If you attack something that's more than eight inches away from the origin of the attack, it's a minus two to the attack roll. It's long range. It's called long range. Okay. So imagine that there's fog or, or lots of undergrowth, and those kind of things, scattered around the table. Ham mist. Ham mist. Yeah. Or yeah, ha those, ham steam. Those steaming hams. Yeah. They're just fogging up the entire board. So the, my mind bender, this guy fell over, and then uh, <laughs> this mind bender just ran up to right here. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some dirty stuff to you. This so time. we're playing we're playing these as rubble. Yeah, rubble, Which rubble, forest. Doesn't matter because you have sprays. Yes, okay. I have sprays forever. It does matter for my guns. It does not matter for your guns. But your guns are guys exploding. So yeah, I have to just kill my guys. I don't even roll on a casualty chart. I just die. Yeah, because the casualty roll happens on disabled, and your thing removes from play. Yeah. So yeah, your guys will just pop, but sprays will shoot out of their faces, and possibly they will trade their lives for the uh, squishing of pigs. All right, this and guy... Kyle was asking uh, whether or not the mission slash scenarios actually define terrain types, count, all that so kind of stuff. So generally, no. There are some that will. Um, the setup rules at the beginning of the scenario guide tell you eight to 10 pieces of terrain. At least half of them should block line of sight, so forests and buildings and those kind of things. And at least half of those line of sight blocking things should be obstructions, things that people can't normally move through. But in No Quarter Prime number one, coming out any day now, there is a three-part mini-campaign, and one of those tells you to set up a village on one half the board because the other guy's trying to burn it down. Sure. So sometimes it will tell you, but generally it's just dense terrain that blocks line of sight. Marketing uh, John says that No Quarter Prime number one comes out on September 27th at your local game store or at store.privateerpress.com. I knew it was something like that. I just wasn't going to declare a date because October 25th, is a date I know because it's written and it's in front of me. But any other dates? Yeah, I don't know. No I don't know. Guarantees. I don't know when anything comes out ever. Uh, that little bro ran. I saw. I saw that. There's a lot of running during the first round. Of the Making game. his weird little sucking noise through his helmet. The whole 
Is, it, is there liquid in there? Oh, yeah. Okay, it's cool. like a fishbowl. Oh, I didn't know that. It's full of brain juice. It's super S gross, dude. So full of brain juice. That's you? Okay, yep. That was another fair brig and running. All right. Um, I think I'm going to have this overlord. He's going to walk up his six. Uh, so their sprays ignore line of sight. Yeah, because they're mental. That's why I'm only rocking those two cards. Let me double check that I'm not lying because, you know, yeah, I ignore LOS. Yeah. So I'm going to spray. I'm going to target this guy. Okay. I'm within eight inches, obviously, because it's a spray eight. Yeah. Uh, your defense is 13. I'm, my defense is 12. Your defense is 12. My defense is 12. I hit you. Okay. You hit me. Pal 12. Your armor 14. 14. So, so anything with snakes. Okay. So casualty roll. So this guy is disabled because he only has one hit point. Yep. So I make a casualty roll. Okay. So one or two, he's dead, but he yep. gets a reroll because he's tough. Yep. Three or four, three or four he's, he's injured. Yep. Five or six, he's only knocked down. Okay. Six. He's only knocked down. So you, your mental trauma shook him and he fainted. I just think he's too stupid to realize what but happened. But he also him. may just be too dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I've gone with this, this overlord. And that was that guy. Okay. Boop. Let's... Uh, what do I have in my hand? How many good cards do I have? So uh, those of you who are War Machine players, you will know that boosting means... You can only do it once, but additional dice you can do as much as you want. Did you roll the D3, by the way, to see which objective oh, I you're... I forgot. Yeah, you might want to roll That's that. That's okay. We're not close enough, but I'll roll it anyway. Yeah. Because we are supposed to do it at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. We got so excited about it. You're looking else. for number three? So I'm looking for number three. Okay. So you know which one number three is, right? I do. Okay. I do know which number three is. It is this one. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm going to go all my army straight toward that one. Okay. Don't worry. So let me see. He has stealth, by the way. I know. You can't shoot him. I might, though. Did I check? There's one card in the game that's basically Spyglass that turns off stealth. But maybe I have it. Maybe, maybe you I don't. don't. I don't believe you. So he's going to run out here okay. into the middle of nowhere. They would be um, being more cautious and digging in, but sprays, they know that brain sprays don't really matter if, yeah. you, if you push them. Oh, yeah, you have a little you. sneaky bro over yeah, here. Yeah, you're right over there. You little monkey. All right, let's see. Don't worry about that guy. You told me that was the one I need to win, so that guy's over there to get it. Oh, there's my 10. All right, I'm going to run another mind bender. Uh, I'm just going to run this guy. I'm just going to run up to the edge of the building here. And then Joris sure. asks, what happens if your commander dies? So if your commander dies, you lose the card attached to that commander, and then you nominate a new commander. And that commander can be anybody. Beginning, it has to be solo officer or unit leader, and it has to be a warrior. But once people start dying, anybody takes charge that wants to take charge. Okay. Uh, I'm done with him. He, he just okay. ran up. Your um, commander upgrade card also gives your commander five extra hit points. So my Pharaoh Brigand leader, which is my commander, yeah. has six hit points in this game. My Dominator has ten. Mm -hmm. That's pretty rad. Yeah. So mm. he's the toughest Cephalix that's ever been, except for like Exelon and... And a bunch of other Cephalix. And, and Cognifex. Sure. We don't know of any others that are tougher. I'm sure there's lots of them down in those hives that are really, really tough. I'm right. sure the biggest ones just stay down there, and the little ones, the oh, weaklings know, of the most this, tough ones. This rubble is, is, is ruining my life. Uh, I'm sorry. This guy's going to run over to here. It's going to save you. Oh, you didn't leave that guy completely inside of it. I'm going to shoot that guy. I'm going to shoot him real hard. Inside what? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bite that rubble. No, yeah. Shoot him. Shoot him all day. Uh, I'm done. Okay, cool. You'll never get your ham notes. I need my ham notes. He's just running. Yeah, he's just going to run. All right. Uh, how many unactivated like models do you notes, have? You have six unactivated models? So, so one, I... two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yes. I cannot pass. So passing in the game, since you brought that up, I'll explain it while you're moving your dude. As long as your opponent has more unactivated models than you, it does not matter how you started the game, any of that kind of stuff. Just at the moment, as long as he has more unactivated models than you, you can pass. Yep. So, uh, so I went with like that fella. For right now, how many models do you have still? Is it uh, eight? I have eight unactivated. Okay, so I could pass if I wanted. If you want to. But there's no real reason to pass. No, I agree. You have a couple more sprays out there, but you just, you just shocked that guy and made him faint. So you're, you're going to fail all the rest of your spray attacks the rest of the game. <laughs> oh. I, I, I have a feeling. Ne neat. Okay, that guy ran. Uh, this fellow's going to also run. I don't even need to measure it. He's just going 10. Yep. He's going to go right up here. To Hide the behind that building corner. Yep. What is he scared? Uh, he doesn't have the capacity for fear. Well, then why is he hiding? He's been told to. Oh, okay. 
Somebody over there is smart enough. <laughs> yes. Cephalics are known to be the most intelligent creatures in all of like Western Imran. What is so that, that means Scorn are smarter than them? And Orgoth are smarter than them? Well, no, Orgoth clearly aren't because they're all gone. We don't know that. It's well, a, it's a mystery. No, Shrouded in the not, mists of time. It's, it's not. Me and Doug C. Cat sat down and talked about the whole Merpanda uprising. And what oh, happened to them. oh, yeah. Yeah, I the forgot. Merpandas I wiped forgot. them out, man. I'm sorry. I always forget that that thing happened because I want it to have not happened. Hmm. Maximus, Maximus is brave and foolhardy, but he's not that brave and foolhardy. Somebody asked, is having more models a better thing? No, not always. It depends on what kind of force you're building. I once had a pretty elite force for my minions that involved a totem hunter and some Gatorman posse. And I didn't have many models, but that list yeah. was brutal. I've got a 20-point army that is three Bombardier Man of War and three Shock Trooper Man of War. And that army does okay. This guy's going to run here. And I have to survive for five rounds. Yes, or, or, you have or, to, or table you. You have to hold me off for five rounds or beat me. Okay. Destroy all of my forces. Okay. Back to you. I'm gonna have Agatha run over here. Okay. And hopefully not get sprayed to death. She does have some hit points. So maybe you'll roll bad and she won't die. Or maybe she'll just fall down. Uh, all right. You should make that guy spray his buddy. I really don't want him to, but I don't. Well, I think I can actually come stand out here and spray that guy. Okay. So. Yeah, stand out in the middle of nowhere with no walls to protect you. I like it. And then, Oz, do we know yet how people will be able to get the rules and stuff separately, um, or is that not decided yet? I do not believe that has been announced officially. Kay. We will announce it close to the launch date. But at the moment, I don't think it's been announced, so I'm not going to announce it here unless Will Schick busts in the door and just starts <laughs> yelling details. Uh, so hold on, I got it. No, no, I mean, that's an invitation. If Will Schick wants to bust in and start yelling details... He can do that. I don't know if he's uh, watching the stream. This overlord is going to brain fry that fella. Shik doesn't watch live streams. He's not on. So that hit you? Yep. And okay, casualty okay. roll. So casualty roll. Am I going to roll sixes this whole game? I hope not. Oh, it's a one. You're, tu you're tough. tough. So you get to reroll. So anytime you would be incapacitated, which is what the first thing on the chart is, because some things can subtract one from your roll or add one to your roll and that kind of thing. You get to reroll it if you're tough. Oh, no, he's, he's dead. Died. First blood. But, but, but to show people how things work. Oh, do you have a recover card? No, I have a reroll card. Oh. I'm going to play a reroll card on him. Because I don't want to play what recover card I might have in my hand. Because okay. he's not that important. So even though you've made the tough reroll, you can play your reroll. Yes. And that allows you to reroll any roll you want. Yeah. Attack, damage, this uh, initiative each round, which we'll go over in a yeah. second. Okay, he got knocked down. Oh, well, that was worth it. This is the worst. It was so worth it. Uh, back to you. Okay. Hmm. We can do this, pigs. We can do this. I actually need to get my spray template out in a second because it's about to be Spray Town USA. Or I guess Spray Town Imran. Where are we fighting? Is this like... Spray Town USA. Is this Signar? Is this happening in... You done in, goofed in, and came into Spray Town USA Lale? with your, your tasty ham and now you're going to get your brain blown out. We're, I mean, we're obviously not in the Bloodstone. This is the open market of Spray Town USA. Oh, okay, cool. I was unaware that there was a place called anything USA in the Iron Kingdoms, but hey. It's my narrative. We just make up whatever we want. This guy runs here. Okay. So I've got one more model, and you've got five more models? I've got five more models. And one more of those is a spray, but there's kind of a building in the way. I also have my, the leader of the Mindbender unit who can channel three sprays through these dudes. As long as they're within seven inches of him. As long as they're within seven inches of them. So he can move up, and then he can start popping brains. I could start popping brains. Juicy, juicy brains. Yes, it's they make gurgling noises in there, obviously. Yeah. What do you want um, that? I'm going to pass. They got ham juice. Oh, wait. No, I'm not going to pass. Ooh. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for something crazy. You're going to try and shoot a bro? Oh, that guy's barely outside the range. I well, then I guess him. you're not going to shoot a bro. Can I get... Oh, oh that guy's got cover. <laughs> it's almost as if I planned it. I'm and so, do either of you know anything about War Room support for Company of Iron? Uh, I know things about War Room support for Company of Iron. Whatever you want to say. I'm not saying anything about worm support for Company of Iron. So expect... There you go, Kern. Expect more, <laughs> expect more announcements as we get closer, deeper into October. So many more announcements. Yes. Okay. We have a lot of information coming that we are not at liberty to discuss just yeah. yet. Like, like, 
I'm telling you, you guys start emailing Will Schick. Tell him to bust in here and start just making declarations. And then we'll just have to live up to whatever he promises. It's fun times. Okay. So um, this one's going to run over here. Not that I, that building will protect him. Yeah. Because those brain blasts come right through it. But Have you gone with everyone? I have moved every single one of my models. All right. Let's, let's, do, let's do the cool stuff. So I'm going to have the Mindbender leader first come completely in this rubble because sure. I need that. Oh, because he's... He's scared? Oh, yeah. So I've got the... Do these sprays also ignore line of sight? Oh, yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was actually just double-checking to make sure I didn't yeah. cheat you on camera. Uh, it's Psychic <laughs> Assault, Spray 8, PAL 12, and ignores LOS. Okay. So I'm going to move these, these trees real fast sure. to get clear line of sight at what is about to happen. And I can do three of these. Yes. Up to three guys can explode. So that's, that would be one. If I targeted that guy, that would get those three as well. Yeah. And if I targeted her again, that would be those three as well. So that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill three of my guys. Okay. So the first one is just going to be these two right here. Cool. So, so Agatha's death is 13. She's a little bit more nimble than a regular I need pair. a seven. That's an eight. Good job. Uh, I am going to... How, what's her armor? Her armor's 15. How many boxes does she have? She has five boxes. And is she steady or anything? She is tough. Pathfinder, parry, but not steady. and then some other rules on the back of the card, but not steady. Okay, so I'm going to play uh, an additional die card. Okay. So this is dice off three, and then I'm going to roll three dice here. You have five boxes, so I'm looking for an eight. Make, mm -hmm. You make a, a, a casualty roll. Yeah. Kay. That is enough. So casualty roll for Agatha. Look at that red die. I like the red one. It rolls high for me. Oh, that's a six. She's knocked down. She's knocked down. Then uh, the roll on this fellow in the back hits him. Okay. And casualty roll for him. Okay. That's this guy. Yep. That guy, he's not that important. Oh, he's dead, but uh, he gets to tough make roll. a tough re-roll. Tough re-roll. He's, okay, he's injured. That's the first injured we've had. So injured means you're mostly dead. Correct. Which we'll see actually here in a second. But an important aspect of that is if you would ever take any damage or have a damage roll made against you, you just die. So if another spray cuts over that guy, you can't target him. Yeah. Because you can't be targeted by ranged attacks or, or magic attacks if you're more than half inch away from an injured model. But if you, if you target another model and the spray overlaps him, mm -hmm. he dies because he would take any damage. Yep. Uh, so this fella is no longer in the, wor the realm of the living. He's exploded. Uh, There's some juicy bits like on his buddies, but they don't care because they're mindless. So I'm spraying through this guy, targeting uh -huh. him in the middle. So because I'm targeting him, period, and he would take a damage roll. Yeah. Uh, he just dies. He just dies. Yeah, normally feign death would get around that, right? It's not a technically feign death. It's the rules of injured, but it works a lot like feign death. Okay. So was it and and knockdown models in this game gain cover instead of having their death drop because yeah. they're laying in the in the grass. Yeah. But sprays ignore cover, so I don't. Agatha doesn't have a benefit of being knocked down right now. So do I need to roll to hit on him or not? You still need to roll to hit that so, guy. But anything but snake eyes. Because it's a spray. But if you if a blast deviated onto him, yeah. it would just hit him and kill him. So anything but snake eyes on him. Right? Yeah. Okay. So we'll do the guy that's injured, and he's. Wait, not anything with Snake Eyes, because he's still knocked down, and knocked down doesn't drop your defense. Oh, he still counts as knocked down. Yeah, he still counts Whoa. as knocked down. That's a, that's a but nightmare. But you rolled a, what'd you roll, a four? A four? Yeah. I think uh, you missed him. I did miss him. You're going to re-roll it? You're no. going to use your other card? Nope. Okay. Because, yeah, it's, it's if they would take a damage, not if they're hit by anything. Gotcha. So let's do Agatha. Okay. Miss her. Snake Eyes. Oh. And then on this guy, I hit okay, him. That guy is hit. And, and boxcars. Boxcars. So let's see if we can actually kill Pig. Nope. Oh, no, everybody's knocked down. This guy disappears. And that was that guy? Yep. Okay. And then my last of these sprays was going to was be... Was hitting the same three. Yeah, it's hitting the same three. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Come on. Let's kill us a bit. You pig. can roll better than last time. I believe in I'm you. I'm going to do the fellow in the back who, if I hit him, he's dead. Yes. I miss him. This guy in the front, I hit him. Okay. Casualty roll. Ca box cards again. But no re-roll because you're knocked no down. No re-roll. I still get tough. a casualty roll because okay. I'm not dead. But um, any effect like stationary or knockdown turns off tough. tough. Yep. Oh, it's a two. Uh, he's not that important. He's dead. Okay. And first, the... first piggy blood. No, I killed one earlier, didn't I? No, that's the first pig that's died. Oh, I thought I that one's one. injured. That's blood. That's technically first blood. And on Agatha here, hits. Okay. Dice off three. So that's enough for a casualty roll. Okay. So I make the casualty roll. It's a three. She's injured. Yep. 
but I play my recover card. Okay, so she so, just knocked down. So some of the cards, five of the cards in the deck are recover cards, and what a recover card says is it makes a casualty roll automatically a six. Interesting. So and I might have a lot more of those <laughs> in my large hand. I I've I actually never none. I've never played Mindbenders in this before. Sure. All the other playtesting I did was was a lot of the other models. Oh yeah, there's a lot of models to play in yeah. this. Uh, and I never got around to Mindbenders. This is actually my first live playthrough of Mindbenders. And, uh, and I don't know. I just lost three bros to take out one. Well, you slowed me down. I did slow A bunch you down. of my guys are knocked I did down. I slow you down. Knockdown works the same way as it works in War Machine. Yeah, I yeah. got to sacrifice movement or action or shake. So uh, l l these pigs are not going to be doing a lot. They're knocked down. I'm gonna have, unless, I, unless I have a shake card. Unless you have shake cards in your hand. I don't know. I think they're still good. I think they're still good. And I think if I can get some of those AoEs, the concussive blast the auto, up there. The auto-hit AoEs are what I was more scared about. Yeah. Uh, so you've got no one left to activate, right? I have activated every single buddy. Okay, this overlord is going to run. I'm going to look at the chat. So expect a game length. That's going to... Uh, that was a question from Phil Lemon. That's going to matter, first of all, there. based on how fast you are as a player. So certain people take longer to make decisions, that kind of stuff. But experienced players playing a scenario of it's not being playtested, which is... Most of our experience is playtesting scenarios at this point, not playing final, final scenarios. Mm -hmm. But Hungerford and I have played games in an hour or less for most of our games that are not heavily discussing scenario changes. Yeah. And so, today it might go a little longer than that because we're talking and we're interrupting ourselves. But And he's, he's taking a long time to decide what his eliminators are going to do. They're just oh, going to run, oh yeah. run at me screaming. Just acrobatics, just hoo ya. She goes uh, there. Maximus is sad he's on the other side of that building. Uh, that's why she's there and not near There's not one. a card that grants incorporeal in here. There's not a card that grants... <laughs> now, I don't have Pathfinder, so I'm actually going to go hang out with my friend. This one's going to run over here and kind of come up behind this bro. Okay. Actually, I'll come behind this bro. And uh, that's all my models. That's I've, acti it. I've activated everything. It's all the models. So, we're going to clear our activation tokens. Yep. And the first thing we do at the end of the round is we discard any cards we want to discard from our hands. So, Hungerford's got one card and I've got three. Yep. I am going to discard my one card, by the way. I am I'm not going to discard any of these cards. They're pretty good cards. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to discard my one okay. card. So, then we make a priority roll, yep. which is initiative, basically, in this to game. To see who goes first, because you can basically get back-to-back -back first turns here. Yeah, but it's only one model piece. So, it's, it, it matters a lot for some scenarios, especially toward the end. Yeah. But it's not as big and swinging as it would be if the entire army was yeah. going to go. Okay, so my priority roll is a one. You're playing the commander. Does he get plus one to priority rolls also? No. No, I get plus one to priority rolls. I rolled a two. But I have a five. Okay. So. I go first. Then, in priority order, we draw cards. Okay. So you're going to draw two and, cards. And if you had any reroll cards in your hand, you could have spent reroll cards. I could have. Maybe I had some in my hand and chose not to play them. I have these two cards. Okay. So I'm going back up to five. But since I'm playing points down, since I'm 24 points and you're 25 points, mm -hmm. every time I fill my hand, which I didn't do at the beginning of the game just to speed things up, I draw one extra card, mm -hmm. and then I have to discard down. They're talking about Schick running in uh, right now on the chat, which is live as we're, we're playing this. Somebody's talking about Schick running in and breaking down the door. It's going to hey, happen. Hey, I'm, Sarah, I'm going to psych him out. He has to do what I say. And... Uh, uh, Nilsson says, having more models seems pretty good. Getting all those uninterrupted activations when your opponent's out of model seems good. Don't forget, your opponent can pass. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Oz could have passed a couple times to make me have to move and then him be able to react to Like, me. if I had a bunch of AoEs, if I had the Bombardiers, I yeah. would probably pass for a while and then wait till you clumped and then walk forward and throw, yep. throw explosions at you. So, are you ready for this to start? Uh, I'm going to throw away... I'm going to throw away this boost card because it's not that great. Okay. For what I need. The rest of these cards are... Probably better in all the circumstances. So, uh, my turn starts. I have an ability that says I can discard one of my command cards and draw another one. Uh-huh. So, uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to discard this one. I'm going to draw this one just to see, get myself something new. Is it a good one? Uh, so, which, which token was number three again? Is oh, it's, it's, it's this one. Okay, this cool. one's number three. Okay, I just want to check. And it is a good one, but where do we want to start at? You can start with anybody you want, but I get to react as soon as you do it. You gonna you gonna pop some more brands? <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna have my eliminators just go ham. Okay, ham, literally. Yeah. So this eliminator is gonna activate first, and I'm gonna come right here to to melee range. Yep. She has half inch melee range with her yep. little knives. Uh, she stabs you. I'm she, knocked down. Automatically hits. I have anatomical precision. Yep. 
That means I am uh, casually rolling. And anatomical says no tough. Yeah, but you were knocked down anyway. So, yes. If, if I wasn't knocked down, I wouldn't get the tough reroll. Yep. Oh, he's dead. Okay. No. Okay. Saving all those. So then I'm going to sidestep two inches over to his friend. Uh huh. Yeah, that's easily two inches. Yeah, right there. Uh, into his back. And I'm going to take a swing. I'm going to see if I can stick a dagger in his hand parts. I do. Anatomical. So you lose tough uh -huh. and a point of damage. Yep. Oh, it's another one. <laughs> My dice. They have <laughs> they've those they, dice. They've, Tony's dice. They turned back around. Tony's are we, dice. Are we counting this whole thing as rubble or are we counting... Let's count the whole thing as rubble. Or just inside the crater. I'm fine no, the whole, way. Let's do the whole thing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to actually... I can't get into it because I don't have Pathfinder. So what I'm going to do is actually back up two inches with my sidestep. Okay. We come there. And uh, she did her job. Back to you. And she has stealth? Oh, yeah. She has stealth. Oh, and she's five and some quarters of inches away from me. Yes, sir. So I can't even aim at her. Yes, sir. But then, but this card, I wanted to use it. It's a really good card. Hey, Ed Burrell's in our... Uh... Hey, Ed. Hey, Ed. Ed got a chance to play this at Lock and Load with us and got real excited. Yeah. He was looking forward to it. Yeah, as well as our partners, uh, Adam from Broken Egg Games, yep. sat down. He had a blast. Him and Ed sat down and yep. played. It was a ton of fun. Adam and I have had some interesting conversations at the last couple of cons. About nothing in particular. Yeah. Nothing in particular. Um, I wish I could see through the woods like you can see through the woods. That's pretty good. Well, that's also why I have two cards in my hand. Yeah. Because I've chosen some models yeah. that are, are pretty strong. So we, we just saw what one Eliminator can do. Oh, they're a nightmare. And they have game. Oh, they're a nightmare. And do they have sprint or just sidestep? Just sidestep. Okay. Read the back of the card to make sure. I'm double checking. Okay. No, cool. acrobatics, anatomical, duelist, gang, sidestep, and combo strike. Yeah. Yeah. They have all those things. Okay. So um, we're going to show you guys how something else works. So orders are free things you can do on your turn if you don't run a charge, unless the order tells you to run a charge. Okay. If you have an order on your card, like Iron Fang Pikeman, they all have shield wall. Yes. They can all say shield wall during their turn as an order. Okay. But shield wall is weird because its text says you gain the shield wall benefit if another model from your unit is touching you. That model doesn't have to use a shield wall order. If you use shield wall and then a guy goes base to base with you, you get the bonus. Yep. The leader of the brigands has hog wild. Mm -hmm. The brigands don't have hog wild. Okay. But if they're within 10 inches of him because of my, my command range, yeah. when they start an activation, they the gain access to the hog wild order. Okay, so they can hog wild. So this guy is going to hog wild. Okay. On that dude. All right, take a shot. So we are less than eight inches away. Obviously. My rat is only five. My def is only 11. Your def is only 11. I'm a drudge, man. I gotta roll I'm a wearing a diaper and a diving helmet. I gotta roll this. There's some tubes. Have you ever shot in somebody Metal with gloves? a diaper and a diving I have, helmet? I they can't will see. not admit to ever having shot anybody with a and diving And they're basically helmet naked. And a diaper on. They're some of the easiest people to kill. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna not. Play. Other than headshots. No, because they actually, have, no, they're harder to kill with that headshot. They've got a diving helmet on. It might protect That's them. That's what I'm saying. Shoot them, shoot them right in the diaper. <laughs> Nobody gets up from a, a diaper gonna, shot. I'm not going to play any we are, we are not starting hashtag right in the diaper. <laughs> hashtag, no. You just did. No. You just did. Nope, nope, not Okay, happening. so I need. A six. A six. Get it, get it. That's boxcars. That is a six on both dice. I it shot no, that guy. It's pronounced boxcars. No, I don't pronounce it that way. I don't right. know what your weird swampy wisdom says, but that's not what I say. I'm armor, uh, I'm armor 15. Pow 12. Yeah. So four, a four. A four. Forces a casualty roll. Oh, yeah, man. Kay. That is a seven. Let's make a casualty roll. Now, I'm tough. Yeah, because you're I'm also cephalics. Because you're a drudge. Yeah, I'm a drudge. Not a, you're not a cephalix. I'm knocked down. Okay. You're knocked down? So Hogwild says, after I shoot, I have to run or charge. Yeah. So he charges you. Yeah. He, so you're pow 12 on the melee weapon? I am pow 10 on the melee weapon. All right. So you so auto-hit. I, I auto-hit you. This is a charge. You so need I roll six. three dice, so just like War Machine. Because I have had a lot of questions of, well, does charging work like War Machine? Does character restrictions work like War Machine? We made this game to try and keep it as close to War Machine as possible and only changing what we had to change. Yeah. But streamlining so it to make it this. If you play War Machine right now, you know how to play this game except for about 20% of the, of the small changes. Okay. So I got to roll a six, right? Arm 15? Yeah. Pow 10? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. I'm so good at this game. I'm going to play this reroll card that sure. gives my guys Pathfinder, because they already have Pathfinder. Yeah. And I should roll I should roll higher than whatever that sad, sad number was. There we go. All right, so casualty roll. So another casualty roll. And I can't reroll because I've, no I've, lost, I've yep. lost tough. He's dead. And that's dead. Yeah, he, and you know what? This dude can die. 
Well, I want all of them to die before they explode on me. I want less exploding faces. Uh, so that's you? That was my guy. All right, so let's let's try and... Man. Or you could just run them all out of that guy's command range so that he can't pop them. I mean, that's fine with me, too. All right. We, we'll we put these trees back. No, no, I need those trees gone. It's my, it's my narrative. It's my narrative, too. Don't, don't cut down all the f trees. All right, let's figure out where I can stand, where I can spray team I hate all y'all. So right about here. So this overlord's going to go. Mm -hmm. I've got a little bit more movement here. But I'm going to line up this spray. I'm actually going to... I don't even need to be that far. Yep. Yeah, right about there is good. Uh-huh. Turn. You're gonna, you're gonna keep rolling bad though. Turn my facing properly. Does the chat think you're gonna keep rolling bad? No. Oh, hashtag right in the diaper. Hashtag right in the diaper. I see it over there. All right. What did I say? No. <laughs> hey, Travis. Travis says I am right on. I don't know what Travis thinks I'm right on about, but I I agree. I am. I am. So def I'm twelve. Right on. Def twelve. I need a five. I'm going to actually boost to you're hit gonna, it. Yeah, man. You're a little frustrated you can't kill this guy? I hit him. Okay, you hit he him. He would take a damage he roll. He would take a damage roll. So he's dead. He's injured. He's dead. Okay. So the guy up front. I miss him. Uh-huh. And, and an Agatha. Ag Agatha. 13. I hit. You hit her. Pal 12, armor 15. She's got no yep. damage box left, so looking so for a four. Oh, and you rolled a three. <gasps> Is that other card a reroll? That you, you want to use? Not that I want to use. Oh, Agatha, she's, she's invincible. My dice... So I'm gonna I'm gonna check something. Uh, let's see. Yeah. The chat is moving very fast, but somebody said they were sensing some succulent sack pawn interactions, and you are correct. So what's the text of sack pawn say? <laughs> <laughs> the text of sack pawn. I can't reads, keep every single rule in my head. I'm not Travis. Well, uh, sack pawn is only on this fella. Okay. Here, and it only applies to the two Kayazi, so that's like... Oh, and the over way so the Overlords don't have any kind of... If I kill them, they, they... They have Veteran Leader Drudge. Okay, cool. Yeah. So if a Drudge ever swings at me, if you ever use yeah. a Drudge for not head-popping explosions... Yes, but the only, okay. the only sack pawn I have is the Dominator, and that's going to the Eliminators, who they're like literally on the other side of the world. Okay, so I have a Shake card. Okay. I play it. Agatha stands up Kay. without sacrificing anything. Okay. Then... Agatha activates, she moves her speed five, she has one inch melee range. Oh, she's got Pathfinder? She's got Pathfinder, she's a pharaoh. They, they know what's... Oh, oh girl! Put these trees I was not ready for that. She walks in the woods, she's within an inch of you. Yeah. I'm she, deaf I'm, I'm deaf 14. She's mat seven. This is, the, this is terrible. She's got two swings or a combo strike. I don't think it'll take a combo strike to kill you, so I'm going to do two swings. You seven hit me. So first roll, just two dice, second roll seven, right? No, it's impossible, actually. No, I can't. Okay, told you. Second roll. Oh, this is an important one. We're gonna... Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one, too. What's this card say? <laughs> These cards, what do they do? Uh, I don't need that card. That's an additional die card, so Agatha's gonna roll additional wow, die. Wow, the, the, the chat is actually scrolling up and down so fast right now, I can't, I can't read it. But I will catch up with you guys in a sec, I promise. Pharaoh go hog wild. <laughs> Hashtag right in the diaper. I agree, Sarah. I totally oh, agree. I see that. How does so, Grievous Wounds work in Company Grievous of Iron? Grievous Wounds, you ignore the fact that it says you can't have damage removed from you, because there's not a lot of damage to remove. Mm -hmm. It subtracts one from your casualty roll. So you only are knocked down on a five, and you die on a one, two, or three. Okay. So you need a seven to hit me. You said you're boosting? Yeah, seven. I'm, I'm additional dying. Oh, you're additional dying. I could boost if I wanted to. All right, go for I it. I could actually, just for you guys, I have an additional die and a boost. I could roll five dice on this, but I'm not going to. It's not that important. You need, I need a, seven. a seven. It's easy, easy game. There we go. We got okay. a seven. What's your pal? Her pal's 12. Uh, dice off one, and I've got five boxes. You need a six to force casualty. I rolled a six on that first attack roll. There we go. Right. That's a nine. I'm going to make my casualty roll then. Okay. R roll real bad. That's an injured. I'm injured. Okay. So uh, one of the gr great things about having two melee weapons is if she wouldn't have missed on the first one, yeah, that was the first me. one, I would just stab you in the face. But here's another trick, another difference between the two games. If you injure someone, it counts as disabling, destroying, whatever, yeah. for attacks that generate, I mean, ability to generate attacks or movement. So Berserk, if you injure somebody, you can then stab them. Okay. And Agatha, just to make sure I'm not lying, has Sprint. Oh, then no. So I'm going to play Recover and turn that into a knockdown okay, instead. Okay, there you go. There I'm you not go. letting her sprint away. Okay. She's mine. 
I have no cards in my hand now, by the way. I know. I see that. Okay. So I got to walk up there, punch that guy. Well, missed him. Punched him right in the robot arm. And she's deaf what? She's a uh, duelist, so she's deaf 13, but deaf 15 in melee. No. Yes. No. Yes. I'm not cool with it. All right, well. She also has sidestep, but I didn't really need it. There was nobody else she could get to to, to punch again. Does she have repost? She does have repost. Oh, what? She's got duelist repost. So I'll, I'll does, just, does she have dodge? She, she has counter charge, duelist, repost, sidestep, sprint, combo strike, and pathfinder, tough, parry. Oh, cool. She's like the Finn of Pharaoh. Oh, no, that's cool. I d I, it's all great. Thanks. Yeah. I, I dig yeah. what's happening. You're fine. You've got brain sprays that ignore things. All right. This, so they this, ignore the target and melee penalty? It's a spray. Oh, yeah. This overlord's going to go. Uh, I don't want to tr uh, trigger anything like counter charge because he's knocked down D right now. Dylan, she is, she is kind of a Jedi pig. I wish he had mind tricks, too. So but not, that's your army. That is my army. Actually, I'm going to back up. Oh. You're, I don't, you're, you're so brave. I am not. I'm Cephalix. <laughs> and I'm going to spray Agatha. Okay. I hit you. Yep. And casualty roll. Yep. So she has no hit. She has one hit point still because she she effectively died earlier. Okay. My hand's not looking so great to help me out. Right? I know. But my dice rolls have been good. So five or six. That's all I need. That's a four. She's injured. Oh. She's, all right. She's bleeding. Back to you. So I don't do anything with her until she activates again. That's when I make my next casualty roll. So you have a lot of interactions. One drudge could just walk up and step on her and she'd be dead. Okay. I don't want that to happen, though, so don't do that. I won't. Absolutely cool. not. Cool. And, if, and when she activates again, when you're injured, you just make an injury roll you immediately. You make another casualty roll. And if it's a five or six, it flips the knockdown, and then you activate yes. like normal. Okay. And if any friendly models are in base-to-base -base contact with you, you get a plus one. Okay. So you only down to one. You stand up on a four, five, six. But it's not cumulative. It's if any. Okay. Okay. Got it. Who's next? Uh, can this guy see that guy? Uh, yeah, man. I was like... What no. You, you don't think so? Barely. Okay. That sticks out just barely far enough. Okay. So he can't hog wild on you. You walk up and shoot me, though. I Well, yeah, he could walk up and shoot you, but I was hoping to hog wild. Well. Because he's in with 10 of my uh, leaders. So I, understand, I understand that we have wants and needs. That guy's knocked down. These guys are way too far away from the leader. Yep. That guy's already gone. Yep. And um, Sarah wants to know uh, how many points Agatha is. She has five points. Yeah. And Gwen, just for fun and, do you uh, remember? Gwen, I don't have her card in front of me. Mom, so I. Mom. Uh, uh, Gwen, it's two 20-point armies, mm -hmm. so Stormblades plus three uh, Storm Gunners and Gwen equals 20 points exactly. Yeah. So do the math back. Do the math. Do the math, Chad. <laughs> uh, I feel like she's five. Agatha is amazing, mm -hmm. but I'm going to beat her to death on the ground. Well, the reason she doesn't take cards away from me is she doesn't have... Anything to survive, like to deliver herself. Yeah, no, because she, she doesn't have dig in. No, she, she just have has duelist, blade, shield. sidestep, yeah. sprint, and combo strike. She has nothing to just walk in, yeah. murder the world, then disappear and be deaf 15. Yeah. She's not deaf 15 against guns. You're correct. She's not deaf uh, 15 this, against this guns. This little piggy. <laughs> Hello. He's going to walk up and swing his club. Now, are you swinging across the building from where you're at at any point? Or can you, yeah, go there. No, I can go there. Are. So there's no building in between us. Def 11. So I'm a six. I need a five. Get you some. I can probably roll a five, right? Oh, I rolled a six. Check it out. Uh, you need a six because I'm, you're a ten. ten. I'm a 15. I want to kill those guys, but there's also a Kazi Eliminator back there. Yeah, there, there. There absolutely is. I got four dead pigs, too. This is not looking good for me. Oh, I think it's looking great. You got four dead drudges. All of which you used to spray me. And I've got four dead pigs. No, here. no, three I did. One, oh, one you did yourself. I killed one of them? Yeah, man. I've accomplished so much. Okay, so, need a six? Look, yeah, looking for a six. That's not a six. I'm going to live forever. I'm not going to play a reroll. Uh, this little I'm not drudge. I have a reroll either, but. This little drudge him that. is going to walk over to here. So, Travis says Gwyn is four points. Okay. But Thanks, this, Travis. This, You're the math master. This little drudge is going to walk over to here. Uh huh. Oh, and he's going uh, to. Oh, sad time. Time for some pork chops. Okay. I'm, gonna, he, I'm just going to beat her to death with pork, my hands. Pork chops like this? Yeah, he's got big metal gauntlets. Yeah, but does he chop them? Like, is it pork, pork chops? Like, yeah, like literally. Like okay, he's giving cool. her a deadly cool. massage. Yeah, cool. Right in the diaper. So, yeah, uh, you're not, your count is knocked down, so I automatically hit you. And then you're injured, so if you would take a damage roll of any kind, yes. you just die. So, uh, interesting question in the chat. Patrick wants to know how the command deck is built. It is not built. It is 40 cards. You, you get them. 
in the starter box and other ways eventually. Both players share one deck. And you play with that deck as it is. Yeah. You don't like you, you, you shuff, don't construct you sh the deck. Yeah, you, you shuffle, shuffle it. it and then play with it. Yeah. There are six commander upgrade cards in the base game. Yeah, and we're there's adding a more. There's a promo floating around right now that was at Alliance and some other places. There's two coming in Feast and of the Fallen. There's two in the November League, a bounty hunter and a, and a corpse collector guy. Yep, and they're foil. And they're foil. Yeah. So we will be putting out quite a few more commander upgrade cards, and that's one of the ways that you customize your army special for Company of Iron. The deck is there to compensate for the difference in quality and for models that need a little bump up, yeah. like guys that are rat five and attacking def 14 things, yep. to have those boosts and rerolls. Like one of the commander upgrade cards I made for, uh, for the league that you'll be able to use in any game of Company of Iron you play, it mm -hmm. gives your commander the ability to collect corpse tokens and then spin them like Tharn. And one of your uh, once per round abilities is you can discard one of the cards in your hand to just gain a corpse token. Yeah. So that one's super good on a totem hunter, by the way. Or Gudrun. Yeah. The bounty hunter card lets you play a card to change your prey target. Your commander gets prey, and once per game you can... Uh, is it just free? You discard a card yeah. and you change your prey. Yeah. 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 So those are both coming in November. Yep, in the league. Uh, it's your turn, right? Mm, that was you. Yeah, that was, yeah, you was me. That was me being a death. All right. Um, Back to you. Hmm, what am I gonna do? You're never gonna get this ham. I'm never gonna get the ham. I'm gonna backstrike that Kazi Eliminator though. Okay, that's good. She's def uh, 13 in the in the back. Actually, wait, I'm sorry. Duelist is uh, plus two def against all melee attack rolls, regardless of uh, oh. arc. So I'm def 15 oh, in the back. Oh, she's so she's so jumpy and uh, juvie. No, that's not the right word. No, that's not the word you want to use at all. That's inappropriate. Juki? Juki. There we go. Yeah. Juki. Thank yeah. you, John. I'm, I'm here for you. There might be some jumping and jiving involved, too. Uh, I want to keep both these cards. I like them a lot. Patrick asked how many commander upgrade cards per list. Each command, You only get one commander, and you get one single upgrade card. Yeah. I'm going to play an additional die. Rock and roll. So you need a nine to a hit me? Six. Yeah, you need a nine to hit me. And you're, oh, man. This is going to work. This is going to work. Here it comes. That, is, it. that is more than a nine. Dice minus one. She's got five boxes. She's got 11 armor. Yeah, they're 11. Look at her. She should be nine. She's, She's wearing, like wearing a, a scarf. She's wearing like a trendy top and a ponytail. A seven. I've got dudes in diapers and fish bowls and trendy ladies with Is like ponytails. That's a casualty roll. For the people. I'm made of paper. I like it. She's injured. She's injured. I can't finish her off. But I need to finish her off before she stands back up. Somebody asked in the chat, and I didn't catch your name, I'm sorry, but they asked how Prey works. The way it works is say that you have a Totem Hunter, for example, uh, and they had Prey on a unit of Brigands. Then the Totem Hunter would have Prey against every single model in the Brigand unit. Similarly, if you had something that was granted Prey, say you had a, uh, the Pharaoh Warlord in the Brigand unit, he has granted Prey, you would pick an enemy model slash unit, you'd have Prey against them, as long as the models in that Pharaoh Brigand unit were in the command range of the Warlord. Or a lot start of their activation. Yeah, start, a lot of abilities that are granted work off sort of these command bubbles that come off the officer or unit leader. Yeah. Okay, it's back to you. Back to me, and what do I even want to do? So I have four models that haven't activated yet. I'll show you four models. You have... You're getting lower on models, but you still well, have... Well, I, I did blow up a bunch of my own. Uh-huh. Um... So this Cephalix here uh -huh. is going to charge. Oh, he's going to charge me. He's going to fight across the corner of that building. Actually, yeah, is it... What's their mat? I think it's six. I have anatomical. that You put you up to def eight, uh, 14. Yeah. Uh, I would need a eight to hit you versus spraying you. Actually, I'm just going to spray you. Yeah, I won't be stupid. You're going to get close enough to not spray your lady friend? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to come this way. Okay. And then I'm going to spray you. Oh. Oh, it's so close. I can move here if you no, want. No, it's not. It's not on the edge. It's just real, real close. So I'm going to walk there, and I'm going to try and brain fry that dude. Okay. I hit that, him. That does. Uh, that's yeah. enough. So casualty roll for, for Franz. Casualty roll. That guy's name isn't Franz. It is now. It is whatever I say it is. I re-scrambled his brain. Six. Stop. Six. Stop. Bam. All right, back to you. He, they've got the vapors. Your brain, your brain waves are just like... Oh, I fainted. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher this name, but uh, Yaka Carlson uh, asked if there will be multiplayer scenarios. That's one of the things I'm gonna play test soon. So, like we said at the beginning, I'll take a slight commercial break. What we said at the beginning was you can't take large bases, things that can't move, caster attachments, all those things. Yeah. 
That's because in the base rules, I didn't want to put those things in and have even more exceptions. But no quarter prime is giving us a lot more space to play around with stuff. So in the November issue of no quarter prime, mm -hmm. I'm going to put in rules for dismounted dragoons. Yep. Points costs and card uh, requisition costs of dismounted dragoons. Yep. Because dismounted dragoons are only not in the game because you can't buy them separately and because they're large base models. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to put Fenris and Horthal and all those guys in the game and they're going to work like they work. So expect other things like that in the future. And in those no quarters, there will be also scenarios. So the very first one in September has a three mission mini campaign. Mm -hmm. The one in November is going to have, I think, a four mission mini campaign. And then we're going to play test the multiplayer scenarios and some special formats where like maybe you, like 10 people each take a five point model in this like King of the Hill crazy yeah. game. Like all those kind of things. Because we can do lots more crazy things with this than we could with full-on War Machine. Like, like, not everybody has space for a board's gate. Yeah. But we can make an eight-player scenario that plays on a 4x4 four four that you can play really easily in your game store. What you're saying is we're going to do dope things with a dope game. I don't know if I would go as far as using that word. I'll, I'm, I'm going to go that far. Yeah, no, Hunger Fruits, right. I know. Yeah. But I don't dope use, stuff with a dope I don't game. use that yeah. word because then it gets stuck in your head, and then it's the only word you know for good. No, uh, because then they're succulent. Go, go no, I don't use that one either. Go back to you. Oh, by the way, someone asked uh, again, uh, how does recursion work? They thought it would be very powerful. Recursion doesn't actually bring models back. Uh, it lets you draw a card and discard a card from your hand. So it lets you cycle cards. So, so right worry, now... Alexia your, is not busted in right this Right now game. with your hand size of zero, recursion wouldn't do anything for you at all. It would do nothing. Okay, what am I going to do? I don't know, man. What am I going to... Mm, I don't like any of my options here. So, oh wait, did I roll straight injured on her? Yes, you I did. Rolled a three or a I forgot. Four. Yes, I have tough. Oh, I only get tough on dead. Only right? tough on dead. Yeah, yeah. Only incapacitated, not. Yep, yep, yep. Not, not injured. On injured. What is this? Card's not good. <laughs> what is this? It's garbage. <laughs> it needs Put to it be away. a shake. It needs to be a shake real bad. It's gonna help me. It's gonna help me so much when I can see you. And I'm not gonna be able to see you this whole game. Nah, I'm man. hanging on that card with the uh, hopes it will be played and it will never ever come into effect. Uh, this little piggy. Yep. He walks up to there. Yep. Who you want to bust the cap at? Uh, I want to. I want to shoot someone that hasn't activated yet. So that guy's outside of eight. Richard Wheeler asks, "What happens if you burn through the entire command deck? You reshuffle, you reshuffle it. it." Okay, that's what. I the game ends, and you <laughs> must immediately stop playing forever and destroy arm, your models. Arm, or arm wrestling. Arm wrestling. Or you reshuffle uh, the deck. Your choice. Yeah. Uh, I he, recommend reshuffling. He's gonna take a shot at that drudge. Uh, this, this, this drudge, the this unactivated drudge. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get rid of some of your um, pseudo arc nodes. All right, I dig it. You're def 12. I'm def 11, man. Def 11. I'm wearing a diaper and a fishbowl. Oh yeah, we're back to that. Um, I am a five, so I need a six. Yeah, I'm gonna play this card for a boost because it it it's it's a really good card for my army situationally, but it's probably never gonna come up. Except next round it will. Yeah, like, there'll be a moment. Okay, hit, I got gotcha. you. Uh, pal, 12. Pal 12. Armor 15, so you need a 4. That is not a 4. I am so good and at I this don't game. Have any I am cards. so good at this game. You are the best. I am so good. I have never been better at anything in my life. Uh, my Mindbender leader, so this whole side is gone, really, right? Except for that. These two that have dude. not. These two and Maximus are my last model. Oh, the knock dude? The knock knockdown guy? My leader and Maximus. All right. And Maximus. Wants to come out of fr from behind that building, but there's an Eliminator just standing there waiting for him. So I'm going to have this Drudge come around the corner here. Uh -huh. Is he going to punch it, dude? And I'm going to punch that guy right in the face. Ineff ineffectually? Uh, no, I've got Vet Leader because of the Overlord's in name. Ineffectually. Roll Snake Eyes. Uh, so hold up. Mindbenders are normally Mat 5. I'm up to a 6 because of Vet Leader, so that hits a 12, which hits you, yeah? How does 5 and 6 equal 12? No, I'm normally a... Oh, no, I rolled an 11. Yeah. I did so bad at you that. You did the math on the card. I did the math to, on the card, and, and then I tried to add too. six. Oh! Sometimes. Some, it's early in the morning. It is early for in the morning, y'all. On the West Coast. Um, like they so rolled, they, rolled, they still. rolled me out of bed, and I'm now I'm playing a company of iron, but I'm having fun, yeah. and so it's yeah. okay, and I'm not cranky. Uh-huh. Back to you. Back to me. Exciting. Um, Those guys are in melee and things. What's the... So you have half an inch range on his melee weapons? On his, oh, on, on the his, on the little blades? On his arms of doom over there? No, prosthetic manipulators are uh they're they're range one, man. Okay. Are you lying right now? No, I'm not. Okay, cool. I double checked. I printed out these cards in front of me so I wouldn't make mistakes like rolling a five and then adding six and saying it was twelve. Hashtag that math though. I, I dig it. Hashtag diaper math. 
You're just gonna then you're gonna change it and it's yeah. gonna be diaper something else later. Yeah, man. Okay, That's how I do. Um, knockdown guy is gonna sacrifice his his action, I guess, his shot right. to and just stand gonna... up, and he's gonna walk. He's gonna probably be in a line to get brain sprayed, no matter where he goes. We'll see. How about how about if he just walks to engage some some dudes? Sure. Okay, so that was his activation. I got two models left. We got we got interesting questions over there, John. No, we have we have nope hashtags. <laughs> uh, Travis says you should get back in your pod, Billy. I, I approve, Travis. Of course, Travis would say that. Yeah. Uh, this eliminator is going to charge, and I've got acrobatics, so I'm just like, of course you do. What up? Yeah, within that that half inch, uh, you're you're knocked down, so I automatically hit, uh-huh. and I've got anatomical. Yep. So I automatically make a casualty roll. I can't reroll. Because it's tough, because I'm already knocked down, yep. and you have. So there's two ways I'm not getting my tough reroll, but I can roll a five or six. Yeah, I've been doing it all game. Yeah. Yep. That's a six. Then I'm gonna still si- knock down. Sidestep to where I'm base with my friend. Uh huh. And then I'm gonna stab you again. Stab me again. And do it again. Do it again. Another six or a five. Fives are okay. That's a four. She's just injured. But you don't have another attack to finish me off. I don't. Uh and. Back to you. Back to me. Uh, put a full token down. They have stealth, by the way. I know. I'm seeing if I can charge you. Ooh, spicy. Speed five. So I charge eight, but I have a stick, a what, whopping stick. What's your uh, what's your total melee range? My my threat range? Yeah, yeah. Is ten. Is ten? Oh yeah. 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 You get yeah. that for days. Yeah. Okay. So you got path. He's gonna activate. He's gonna. He's going to charge. He's got Pathfinder. He's going to stop two inches away from you, which is eh, about and, there. And you're charging the injured one? I'm charging the... The fresh one? The, I'm charging the injured one. I'm so going to you, finish her off before she All right, she so she anything. just dies. She just... Just whack her with a stick. She's dead. Bye, Felicia. What's this one's name? Also Felicia? Also Felicia. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's Felicia. It's, all, it's also Felicia. It's Felicia. It's a traditional Kadoran name. Also Felicia. No, no spaces. All one word. Huh. There's a lot of yeah boys going on over there, and I don't know <laughs> the context of it. So, uh, yeah. If John wants to fill us in on why there's yeah boys in the chat, he can do that, but... That's a conversation with Travis, actually. Okay. I, Sarah, I, I, have, I have a widget. I have one. But I just, I don't... I'm, I've been playing this game literally since it came out. And back, <laughs> back in the old school days, all we had was a tape measure. So I'm just used to tape measuring things. All right, this fella. And you don't have to be super precise. You're playing a casual narrative game. Uh, Hungerford told me I could charge. He's he's so I did. He's injured. He's injured. Yes. Yeah. So this guy is gonna walk. His... Dirtle around there. Yep. So I'm just gonna dirtle in his, in his diaper. And I'm gonna beat him to death. And he's dead. Oh, sad little guy. Back to you. Sad little guy. Uh, I got Maximus. You got two. I have one, two, three, four models left. I'm gonna pass. Okay, uh, I'm going to have this guy swing on that dude. Okay, death 12. You're not getting any, pl- oh, you are getting a plus one because yep. that guy's close enough. So I'm a six. Okay. I, need a, I need a six. Yep. That is a five. Back to you. Math master. Math master. So if Maximus walks up there and kills that drudge, he might accidentally kill his friend too. Correct, I, I'm okay with that. Because he's murdery. But the Eliminators are on the other side of the building, and one of them is dead now. So that's cool. I like that. Are Maximus, are you five? I'm going to check my war room real fast. Yeah, I believe Maximus is make speed sure. five. Yeah, my whole army is speed five. I just want to make sure he wasn't like super, super murder fast. Yeah, five inches does not get me within two inches of that uh, Eliminator. Mrs. Mrs. I missed the name. <laughs> oh, Saber, Saber Jane says that this game is more casual, so it's less... Uh, likely to come down to millimeters. Yeah. You are 100% correct. Yeah. Company of Iron is meant to be good fun. Don't... Like, There's a very different cool, experience if you try and play this. If something is cool, do it. Competitive. Yeah, just do it. And experiment. If you're like, I really want to see what this thing does that's not legal in the game, Who cares? try it. We were just talking yesterday about something. I don't know about y'all, but like I buy dope models to do dope things with them and have fun with them. And like this is a fun way to like also to start small collections of models that maybe as an army yep. don't want to do the whole thing. Like, you know, I'm not necessarily going to paint all of Kador. I just honestly don't have time and I've got other armies I'm painting. 
but I do want like a little Doom Reaver force. So mm -hmm. this is kind of perfect for that. Um, one of the things I like the most about you running? Army Collection, yeah, is that I've never wanted to play a Legion army, but I love grotesques. So I bought some grotesques. I'm going to make a thing that's grotesque of Banshees and Raiders and an Assassin. Sure. And that's all I'm going to play. And it's 20 or 25 points. And that's what I'm. And then maybe someday in the future, I'll buy some more Legion models and have a full Legion army. But right now, I just want to play grotesques. Yeah. Uh, so have you got any models left to go? I am done. Okay, so this guy's going to run. I'm, I'm probably going to remake the Fell 12 from the original yeah. uh, Company of Iron. So he's going to run to right about there. Okay. And then he's done. And, and, and Brain Popping Master hasn't gone yet. Has no, he? he has not gone yet. Oh, yeah, yet. it's that guy. That's the Dominator. He's uh, the Dominator and this guy have not gone the yet. Top. Okay. I'm going to survive all of this. That's not it's true. It's going to be fine. That's actually not going to happen. I'm actually only going to pop one guy. So I'm going oh, to... Oh, you're playing conservatively? Well, yeah, I'm kind of running that's out of dudes. That's not very much like you. I'm going to spray through him into these two. Okay. So I hit both of them and my guy dies. Uh, yep. Let's roll on your... Your commander first. Sure. Hits. That hit. What's your armor? 14? They're all 14, yeah. So dice minus two. Uh-huh. Take two. Okay. So he's taking two damage. And then on Maximus... I uh, I miss. Maximus is 13. Just uh, like I, I miss. And he has a kneeling, so he's got extra armor. I still miss. Cool. Uh, you sure you don't want to pop any more of your guys? No, 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 and no, miss? no, 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 no. My dominator is the last thing to go, who's my actual commander. Now, I do have seduction, which I could try and seduce a pig, but <laughs> I'm sexy, not going sexy to. Sexy ham. It actually makes me want to die inside when I think about it. So. Well, your guys are not 100% human, so I don't think it's that weird. I think it's fine. What does this chat think? Does the chat think you should seduce my pigs? <laughs> Somebody, uh, Ian, just, or Ian or Ian, or however you pronounce your name. I'm sorry if I'm ruining it. Ian. Just uh, typed all caps Fell 12. Yeah, Fell 12 is going to be awesome. Point. All right, you know what? We do stuff for fun, right? My commander's going to run. Because and this and um, whatever her name is, Sophia Skorova? Mm -hmm. Something? The new Black Dragon solo? Yeah, she's cool. Check this out. I'm going to run I'm over there it. so that I get to go first next turn when I win the die roll. And then I'm going to seduce that pig. Okay, cool. So I'm done. I've done everybody. Sexy pigs? <laughs> Sexy pigs. So I, it's the third round. I still have to get a model. Oh, did I go with him? No, I did not. Mm, it's up to you. All right, I well, know. I moved the tokens already. We'll sure. just say he went. So I have to still get a model near one of those and flip it over. Yep. And my mission specialist is still alive. Yep. So... I can only do that special don't sacrifice move reaction in his command range. Okay. So like this guy is way too far out to like run over there and win me the game. So this is round three? This is round three. We got uh, the, all the missions in the base game are five rounds. Okay. So you, uh, we draw, roll. draw up first or roll? Well, we discard first, roll, and then drop in prior to order. Go ahead. See what you get. That's oh. not, no, it doesn't count. It's got to be in the box. On camera, it doesn't count. Six. I can't beat that. You got to roll. You gotta, if, no, you, you got a plus one. You got a plus one. Oh, I do? Oh, Ooh. wait, no, sorry. I, got, I keep uh, thinking no. Master Strategist has a plus one. You have a I plus have one. I got to go first. Does Maximus murder everybody now? We'll see. Okay, so you got your two cards? Yeah. And I got my five, five <laughs> cards, plus one? Yeah. This is going to hurt so bad. Maybe it won't. Maybe my hand's terrible. That, that's not so bad. Um, that's a pretty good one. Patrick Wilson asks a pretty good question of what's the threshold for being points down like in regular War Machine? Yeah, there is no threshold. There is no threshold. You it's whatever must, you and your you opponent agree to. You must play with at least three models. Yeah. Plus, if you're four points down in this game, there's no faction that you can't really add a solo to, so you never yeah. really would play four points down. Like, I could see maybe two or three, maybe, depending on what you're playing. There's but like, Basically, the reason it's a three-model minimum is there's almost no legal army that's 20 points, at least, that you can build with only two models. It's real hard. It's real hard. Like, Terran Wrecker in a Vanguard is 20 points. Correct. Also, if anybody remembers... Go, go ahead and do yes, what you're doing. If anybody remembers Machinations, you can build Machinations minus Rex. You can do Harlan, Terran, Rucker, and a Talon, and that is an amazing force to play in this. That'll be my other army I'm working on outside yeah, of Fell 12. It's, it's, it's narrative and casual. Do whatever you want. Play one point over. Like, I don't care. it's okay. I will come to your house and fight you. <laughs> I am... I got a lot of rerolls in my hand... So I'm going to throw away one of these rerolls. Uh, I'm going to throw away the Swift Hunters one. Sure. Because I don't think I'm going to shoot a lot of people. 
Okay, cool. Right. Go nuts. So what are we gonna do? Oh, what are we gonna do? Yeah, who are you activating uh, first? I, I feel like Maximus wants to activate first. What is what is my command range? Ten. If that is the three, and this guy moves over here and survives, which is unlikely. Yeah. This is the three. The, this I, is I the don't. I've, I've stopped believing you. Oh, I know. I'm telling you this. That is the three. guy. That guy could run and win me the game, but that would involve this guy surviving and that guy surviving. Yeah. So we'll, let's just beat you up. Okay. And this is this is round four now. Or no, three, three. I just moved it. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure. I'm losing track. It's too early in the morning. I know it's only at like it's 11 o'clock on the West Coast or whatever, but still. Maximus is going to walk up. He's going to turn so he can't see his friend. Okay. Because he's that smart, just barely. And who you want to swing at first? I'm going to swing at the Kazi because Maximus is like Mad 8. She is a 17 in melee. I know. Yeah, Mad 8. So I need a 9. Yep. I am going to play... A boost and an additional die. So four dice to hit? So four dice. Yeah, man. Need a nine. Four dice and a nine right here to here? Go go for it. You got this. Easy peasy. Easy game. Literally impossible. Gotcha. Yeah, you got it. Uh, it's dice plus two with a weapon master. She has five boxes. Go ahead and roll it for me. So, yeah, 13. Yeah, I'm 11. Weapon master. I'm going to give you a hint. Unless one of these dice literally explodes into shards and hits you in the eye and we have to take you to the hospital and have to stop the game immediately, it can't we not be lethal. We wouldn't have to stop the game. I yeah, could right. just hold my we'll hand over it. Play an ambulance. Pressure. Put pressure on it. Okay. Casualty roll. roll. Roll a one or two for me. Nope. That's a six. She's knocked down. Okay, so Berserk does not trigger. Nope. And Maximus is gone. <laughs> All right, so my Dominator... So that might not have been the smartest move. It was cool. But it was cool, because I did not want to miss. My Dominator is going to activate... And I'm just moving these trees. I'll put them back in a second because this is this is legit happening. Sure, S seduce that pig. Oh man, I'm going to seduce the hell out of this pig. Uh -huh. Tell him he's a cute, the cutest little ham you ever seen. Oh, stop being weird. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to use seduction. It's not on him. that weird. Take control of a living enemy, non war oh, non -work Somebody model. somebody misheard you earlier, and they think there's a Rex model. He said you can make machinations minus, minus Rex. Rex. So I can immediately make a full advance with the model, followed by a basic melee attack. Then it ends. All right, and these guys have Pathfinder. So you're going to... Oh, uh, here's a really interesting thing, Patrick. You can keep going. I'm going to. So Patrick says having Shaw and a commander with Beast Handler would be amazeballs. I'm not exactly sure what he means with a commander with Beast Handler. I think he means Beast Warden, the okay. Jack Marshall equivalent in Hordes. But one of the things we didn't say is whatever model you pick as your leader, your commander, automatically gains... Beast Warden or Jack Marshall, whatever game you're playing, Hordes of War Machine. Okay. So you can take an army that wouldn't normally have a Jack Marshall in it and have one. Okay. Only a few models in Hordes gain Beast Warden because Beast Warden doesn't exist in Hordes. So, but Beast Masters and the Dunian Knot, those things, they yeah. become Beast Wardens. My Dominator uh, seduced he did. you, Piggy. He successfully He's going to walk him piggy. here, have him face this way where you can still see this guy uh -huh. in the back, and then make him punch his buddy in the butt. Uh huh. You hit yourself in the butt. Yeah. There's a glare. I couldn't tell what that dice was. And these are PAL 10s. Your armor is 14. So need a 5. So That's enough. Casualty roll for that guy. Casualty roll on this pig. He's very confused right now. Oh, for multiple reasons. Especially we're not because that pig's making like kissing noises. No, we're not and talking about how the pig's making kissing noises. We're not really talking weird. about how the seduction happened. I rolled a 6. More okay. knockdown. Okay, and that doesn't activate that guy or anything. That's your ability. Yeah, it's my ability. I seduced your pig. Mm -hmm. He has been... Seduce. He's really confused right now. He's coming out of it. Trust me, my Seth like, are more confused. What, did, what happened? This is a very confusing it's time. It's my turn. That eliminator's knocked down. Yep. So I could whack her with my stick. Sure. But I could do something else, too. I could go after the Cephalix. Because I'm not engaged by that drudge because he's a half an inch man there, right? You, you got it. So I could walk around and whack. I'm going to do that. So we're going to squeak around. Yeah, we can We're going to squeak around. Squeak around. <laughs> we're going to oink around. Yeah. I'm within two inches, Sarah. You can tell because of my tape measure. Def 14. Yeah, Def 14. Uh, Matt, six. You need an eight. I need an eight. I am unwincible. It's, right. it, it's impossible to roll an eight or higher on two dice. That's just mathematic. It's, it's bell curves, bro. You don't know how math works. And it's bell curves, bro. That's an eight. Huh. Uh, what's, uh, your, what's your armor? Is it 11? No, it's 13. Ooh, Ooh 13. Now this guy's got boxes. Um, I'm minus one. I've got boxes. You got oh, wait, no, I minus. This is pow 10, just like the other one. You're minus three. I'm minus three. You need an eight to force a tough roll. You need an eight. Also, two. Import, we just, I don't know what you did. That's, roll that, an eight. that's that hashtag new math, but uh -huh. it's impossible to do twice. Okay. Well, I hit him right in the diaper. 
No, we don't have diapers. He's got a diaper on under there. We're wearing it's leather suits. We're under wearing leather suits. I can see it. We are it fashionable. From here. That's not an eight. I take two. I Ooh, are you going to reroll the whole thing? Yeah. Go for it. I can get an eight, right? If I roll enough times, I get an eight. Or a nine or nope. a ten. Impossible. Whoa. <laughs> That's a ten. Casualty roll. Let's, yep. let's do this like Oz do and never die. That's I'm injured. Uh, injured. Okay. So he hasn't activated yet, so he will get to maybe not die. Yes. So. And I'm kind of out of dudes. Wait. I forgot to grab that token. Right? Yeah, yeah. You're good. You're He's good. hiding behind the building from me, so. So, I'm actually going to, I'm going to do this Overlord. I'm going to scoot here. I agree. Uh, the chat is amazing. Yeah, chat is amazing. Multiple people are saying the chat is amazing. Or, or things to that effect. Uh, this Overlord is going to stand here, and I'm going to spray straight down the line. So, this fella. Yep, knock down. So, uh, you're... He would get t cover, but you're within a half an inch in your so, spray. So, so I'm just I'm mentioning all these things. So I hit so, you. So you you because I'm within half an inch. But that doesn't say that I my def drops. I still have def twelve. Oh, do you? Down. Yes. I just oh. don't have cover if you're in I a thought, half an inch. I thought no. Guns are gotcha. super powerful in this game, so gotcha, I, I took gotcha. steps to keep guns from just wrecking everything. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. And then this guy, I hit him. Okay, that guy's hit. That guy. Makes it a casualty roll because it's a pal 12. Roll. Okay. Keep rolling sixes. Keep rolling sixes. That's a four. He's injured. All right. And he's gone. Back to you. Um, I, I see now. I see. Hmm. We're running out of dudes over here. Maybe that is the three. Maybe you have not been lying to me this entire I'm time. I'm telling you that's the three. Maybe. I, I, I unfortunately... Discarded my slippery card, my um, ignore free strikes card. Oh, gotcha. Well, that'd have been really useful. It would have been. I had another reroll too. I shouldn't have thrown that one away. But this one's good too. Um, hmm. What do we want to do? We want to win, but we also want to kill guys. <laughs> we we want, want to win. We want to kill him real bad. But we also want to kill. So he's gonna stay inside your front arc barely. Okay. Take a swing at that drudge. Oh, that one fell out of the box. It did fall out of the box. It count, even though it was a one. Ah, that's uh, not... An, no, you're mad six? You're def 11, yeah. Yeah, you hit me right in the diaper. Barely hit you right in the diaper. And then, pouch in, arm 15. Arm 15, looking for six. six. All right, casualty I roll, I am tough. Yep. Try to keep it in the in the tray. Injured. So injured is not oh. real tough. Why is everyone on the ground bleeding to death? That's uh, just uh, hashtag company of iron. <laughs> hashtag company of iron. Hashtag. Never mind. Uh, let's go <laughs> put a little token next to him. Oh, yeah. Activation. Cool. Uh, cool. Right then. Let's do some things. This guy's going to stand up right here. Okay. And I'm going to punch him in the head directly. So I automatically hit because you're knocked down. And yes. this is a melee attack. Uh huh. Uh, this Arm is 14. POW 11. Good Snake talk. Eyes. Good talk. I like it. Back so to has, you. He has one weapon, right? Yeah, they have one weapon. They have drudge weapons. They have metal fists. I don't think it says that on the card. So all these guys, uh, most of your guys have activated. So I will activate the pig over here that's up against the drudge who is not activated. Yes. And I will try to also knock that drudge. We're, we're having our little slap fight. It's called battering fist is the name of the weapon. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah. cool. So they're not metal. So you lied. You're a horrible liar. That is a four. You miss. That misses. Reroll. Wow. That is bold, sir. I don't need to roll very high. There that we go. hits. That's an eight. Looking for six. Looking for six. Easy game. Easy game. Box e cards. <sighs> Almost. Casually roll. Five. Knock down. down. Easy game. Okay. Uh, so he'll go. He'll yeah, stand up. He'll stand up. He'll sacrifice his movement, I'm guessing. Yeah, he'll stand and, up. And then I'm going to try, try and punch you back. With his fists. I've got a vet leader near me, which Boxcar box cars says it doesn't matter. Oh, you, you pronounced that wrong. I, it, thank you. It is Biaxcars. I don't break armor. <laughs> what is happening? I like it. What bizarre world is this we're okay. living in? Um, I'm going to activate Bleeding Guy. All right. He's touching a friend, but that friend's not battle ready. So battle ready means... No status effects. So he's touch, but he's right? not. He's not. So he's not touching a friend. He he would be. He's base to base with a, a friendly model, but that model's not battle ready. Yeah. So he doesn't get the plus one. All right. Roll. See what happens to him. So we're so, gonna see. So if you roll a one no, or two, no. Actually, it makes more sense. 
for this guy who hasn't activated yet to stand up. Oh, that's the worst. Now he's battle ready again. Okay. And he's going to swing at, uh, what's the def on the Cephalix? 14. 14. You need an 8. He needs an 8. What's this card? That card's not going to help. <laughs> what do these things do? So uh, we haven't played any battle plans this entire game. No. So we've been throwing cards for boost and rerolls. You can play a battle plan when you have priority, and priority is what switches back and forth. It's basically your turn. They're a little mini feats. You only get so one. I could play this right now if I wanted, and I will, because it's duelist training. Friendly models in my commander's command range gain plus two death against melee attack rolls for the rest of the round. That's adorable. So, if you try to kill my guys with melee for the rest of this round, mm -hmm. then so we're going to swing on the drudge. All right. I got to hit higher on the attack roll on the cephalix and higher on the damage roll on the drudge. You need a five. But that's Got a six. Need seven. A, need a six. Math. Need a six. Been rolling sixes the whole game. That's not a six. That's a five. All right. Oh, it's Travis has a rules question. Travis, stop asking uh, rules questions. Does a knockdown model benefit from cover against a spray? No. Sprays ignore cover. So those, those same rules affect everything they can affect in this did, game. Did Travis judge an infernal extreme just actually ask that question? I'm disappointed. I love that guy, but really? Love you. I don't. I do. I do love him. Yeah. Remember that time we had shrimp cocktail in Indianapolis? It was a good time. I miss you. Call me. All right. Uh, let's see which of my abilities do I want to use. I want to. I want to double check. Yes, Jeremy. Only for battle ready models. So that means no stationary, no knockdown, no injured. Those kind of things. Okay. I was double so checking. Now this guy is standing. Yeah, but I was double checking that my psychic projection through my mind meter would work even when models are yeah. engaged, and they are. And 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 he's going to help his friend up, even though his friend hit him in the back of the head earlier. Oh no, that guy's about to die. Like, he, no, he's fine. No, I'm I'm saying he's about to die. You're going to miss. You've been missing attack rolls this whole game. It's the only thing keeping my army on the table. Well, check this out. Uh, Just so roll lots of snake eyes. This guy's going to go. I'm going to psychic project. Uh, through two of them. Through. And pop all your bros. This one. Okay, that one. Yeah, because my answers are it. either I walk over and spray him myself, yeah. or I just blow up. You know what? I'll just Because maybe I won't kill him. Kill your own guy? Yeah, I'm going to walk. You're gonna oh, no, I would, hit my own, I would hit my own overlord, which I absolutely so, well, do not want to do. How fast you? Because you get farther over? No, not really. So I'm going to... Yeah, you should shoot your own overlord in the back. I'm going to psychic like project it. through that guy. I like that Catch idea those two. No, it's a terrible <laughs> idea. So step one, the story I'm, in my head, that guy totally just sprayed all your own dudes. I'm gonna boost a hit on your injured dude. Uh, is Pagani in the chat? People are talking to Pagani. I'm confused. Probably. Okay. Either that, or they think one of us is Will Pagani because all the wills kind of I, are the same. I kill this guy. Okay. This guy explodes. Yep. His brain first, and then just yeah, kind of. And then the rest of them just yeah. melts into his yep. weird pig diaper. The all, other guy, I miss. Okay. All wills are interchangeable, but Pagani was in the chat. Okay, cool. He might still be. Hi, Pagani. Uh, I'm done. Is Dallas in the chat? I always watch Dallas's Thursdays on painting, so why doesn't he watch me playing games? Because he's probably painting he's probably right painting, now yeah. so that he yeah, can yeah. paint on Thursday. Yeah. Which is a good segue, because you, you guys can join us at uh, 10 o'clock Pacific time on Thursday every week to watch Dallas get his paint on. Mm -hmm. And there will be some tasty Company of Iron stuff coming up uh, with a special guest. Guess what? I'm sorry. I completely lost track of what anybody was saying. There was just way too much talking for a moment. I activated all my models. Oh, back to me. Cool. Yeah. I just, I just need a bagel and like a biscuit. That'd be great. <laughs> uh, this injured bro is going to roll oh, to see. Dual strings infection. To see how his life is going. It's, it's, oh, he's only knocked down. He's knocked down. So then he forfeits movement to stand up. Uh huh. And I'm going to take a swing at you. Who, this guy has dualist training, so he's def 14. Sweet. I'm, I've got an overlord uh, who, no, he's not no, battle ready. He's. he's He's injured. I need to roll a nine, which can't be done. Uh, whoa. Or, or it could. And then could. Uh, I'm going to make you make a casualty okay. roll. Cool. Wow. Man, wow. Well, you don't understand dice. It's okay. Daniel okay. here is a badass. Uh, Why did uh, I kill him? Uh, he's tough, though. He's tough. He's tough. He's injured. This is a, the best day of my life. Uh, this overlord's going to go and see if he bleeds out of his friggin' brain sack. Or maybe he dead. gets back up. He just stays he's injured. St he's still bleeding. Uh, I still have this Overlord and my Eliminator. Oh, and this Drudge. Yeah, you're knocked down Eliminator. My Eliminator is going to stand up, forfeiting movement. Mm -hmm. So Maximus has eight wounds. I don't care. Uh, and I'm going to... And a lot of armor. Yeah, that also doesn't matter to me. I know Anatomical ignores armor, basically, but... I'm going to walk behind you. Because I've got Acrobatics and Parry. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I'm not engaging you anymore, so I don't have any yielding. 
Uh, you're still engaging this, bro. Oh, I, I, yeah, I forgot. I'm, I'm engaging somebody, so I get it. Uh, you just get a flat plus two def against all melee attacks, right? Uh, yes, this, this says plus two def against melee attacks for one round. I'm going to combo strike you right in the butt. I'm a 15. Okay. Def. You're effectively a 13 because I'm in your back arc. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm a 7, so I need a 6. Yep. I've got this one boost card, what I want to save for damage because I'm combo striking. Yeah. So I'm just going to roll a 6. <laughs> and that's a boost card, not a reroll, so you can't do anything about that. Oh, I'm aware of how that works. I just wanted to rub it in a little bit. She's done. I'm trying to psych you out, even though Sarah says I can't. Will Pagani's in there answering all your questions for you. Thanks, Pagani. I hope you're getting the <laughs> answers right. Uh, yeah, we'll find out later. He does have access to the rules. Maybe he's checking right. the rules. This guy he's is going to go. He's play tested, but most people haven't play tested the very final version of the game. So there are some tweaks and changes. For example, he said you can only pass your activation if you have less models than your yes. opponent. Which, which he may have just heard me say like an hour ago. Yeah, he just... Pagani? Pagani? What are you doing, Pagani? Swing at me. I'm going to swing at this dude. What's your def? Def 14. A million? I'm going to boost. That's where you're going to use your boost? Uh, you got to roll real bad. Oh, that's not uh, bad. Nope. I miss. Oh, I like it. Uh, Is that it? This Is guy, it? See, oh, he stayed injured, right? Yeah, we didn't mark him because he was bleeding. And I've got this, this overlord yeah, left. Because that guy already did something. Yep. You got one guy. You're going to spray some of your own guys? No. You can't, you can't normally target I'm gonna friends run. in this game. So that's one of the differences from War Machine. Is that Larry the Trencher isn't going to shoot Jim the Trencher so that Bob the Trencher has a, an open charge lane. But Spray is, of course, ignoring all, right. all kinds of rules. They can know that rule, too. So round four? Round four. I don't have any cards to discard. You don't have any cards to discard. Nope. So we roll priority. You get a plus one to this. I always get a plus oh, one. Pick up all your activation Remember markers oh, just yeah. in case. I'll get you also, one. my duelist training is gone. Yeah. So that card gets discarded. There's a lot of people bleeding to death on the ground right I now. like it. None of them are mine. Oh, one of them is mine. Okay. <laughs> I got a six. I can tie you. You can. You can't. Okay, so five cards plus one. God. So you notice I'm mm. not dominating this game because I have effectively five and a half cards and you have two cards. Correct. But I'm also not getting destroyed by your army and all of its sprays and stuff. Yeah, I agree. It's, a, it's, it's, it's I'm probably not going to win. It's almost like. Not gonna, we're balanced? It's like it's, it's somewhat balanced. Yeah. And no. as we, that, like I said, the requisition cost, the hand size adjustment, is a free PDF online. Yeah. And as we release new models, they'll continually be added to that. And if we come across in internal playtesting or like events at shows and stuff, and we were off by a card, we'll, we'll change it and we'll we tweet will, out all that we'll, stuff. We'll ban the player who found the exploit. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, because yeah, this yeah. is a casual game, so we'll just remove you from I'm gonna throw the community. Away, I'm going to throw away the danger okay. close reroll because I don't have any AOEs. I'm joking. I love you. Call me. Depends on who you are. No, it doesn't. And Landon, yeah, the dice have been bad and good. They've been good when they needed to be good and bad when they didn't need to be bad. Whatever. What it's you, been fine. What, what's happening? I am going first. I am killing your bros. I'm ready, dog. Uh, half Roll the dice. I'm going to use my widget. What are you doing? I'm seeing if Maximus can get within I will two inches. I will free strike the hell and, out of you. And, and a half an inch back I here. I will free strike you in your pharaoh diaper. Oh, it's, I so, even, it's so close. I know. That's it's where I move so there. It's so close. You can do it, bro, but I'm going to hit you in the body. Just a little prison shank up in your piggy butt. Prison shank? You want that in your life? That's not a prison shank. Okay, it's he's going to be. He's going to turn so he can see her. He's going to back up a tiny bit so that he's not in melee range of his friend. I don't even care. Because he's cognizant of his crazy. No, we're towards the end of the game, so I'm, I'm about to get belligerent. You, actually, I think it's just the time of day. You're usually happier in the morning, and then toward the end of the day, you just get saltier. Man, I haven't had lunch. Here. Who are you swinging at first? Uh, I am joking. I don't even care. I'm swinging at the Kazi first because I care more about the Kazi. I'm deaf 17. You need a nine. nine. I know. I'm going to play this uh, boost card. Still don't care. I need a nine. Nines are impossible. Except when I roll them. Nope. That's right. uh, 11. I guess I didn't roll a nine. I just straight to casualty roll. I, I literally, there's nothing you can roll that doesn't kill me. Yeah. Live forever, girl. Or, or be injured. So you don't have to mark her because... Injured triggers extra attacks and damage as if it was destroyed. Yeah. So he berserks into her and whacks her and she dies. Boop. Then he swings. And I was, I was outside. Oh, actually, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh. I was right here, right? Yep. My dominator is her. He's, he's command 11. <laughs> he's command 11. And he gives them tough. He's the leader. Okay, yeah. He uh, grants tough. Okay, no, I was way not, outside. Yeah, I was okay. outside. Then he swings in the drudge. And is it behind the drudge? No. It's really close. No, it's not. We should have let the chat decide. I don't care what they say. Okay. So, we are going to roll on the drudge, and he's deaf nothing. He's deaf 11. Eight. 
Yeah. So I hit you. I'm pal 13 Weapon Master. I'm aware. Jason John? nailed F it. 15. Hangry hungry. So I think no matter what I roll on these dice, Agreed. unless one explodes and goes into your roll eye. Roll the dice. See? There we All go. right, casualty roll. You ready for this? You ready for this? I'll live forever. Uh, or injured. be injured. And I, I finish you off. Oh, my God. Maximus. Maximus, you don't have any kind of extra craziness, right? You don't, like, sprint, berserk, relentless charge, spell word, unyielding. No, he doesn't do anything else. Oh, yeah. No, he doesn't do anything else. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Piece of garbage. Uh -huh. um, well, I'll, I'll mark him. Wait. I'm like, I have to roll for this guy to see if he stands up before that guy goes and kills him. Well, sure. if I don't activate this dude or first, you could finish this guy off. I mean, you got choices. But yes, if I, I mean, like, um, I might decide to go on this side because that guy is not a threat. That is actually not a bad idea. I actually have a pretty legitimate choice. So this this whole cluster over here uh -huh. is I, I've got that under control. I'm not yeah. threatened by anything that you're doing. But uh, you're not threatened by anything that I'm doing. No, not at all. I like your confidence. Uh, either he dies or he dies is my choice. But basically, and this is a random roll. So this guy's gonna go, sure, and I'm gonna kill him and kill that guy. Yep. Okay. That that guy was my because possible of, yeah, possible victory if you haven't been lying. That is the number three. And that's the three. Back to you. So we will um, we will finish off this guy. Okay. I'll walk up here and murder. I've got two inch range. Yeah. Whack that guy in the face. Okay. He's dead. Back to me. That guy activated. I've only got four models. Uh, I can pass a lot, but these guys are just going to get sprayed in the face. If no, I pass. we're going to do way worse than are that. Are you going to seduce? Again? Oh, yeah. I'm Another. seducing the hell out of this guy. Now my, that you're into it, now you're into it, right? Yeah, like my dominator's going to walk over here. You were iffy on this sexy pigs, but now you're just full on. Yeah, man. I, sexy pigs all the time. I'm single right now. I do lots of weird stuff. Uh, this guy's going to swing at this guy in the butt. Hit him because he's in the butt. And make a casualty roll. Okay, cool. I like the red die, it's been rolling for me. That's an injured. Woo! I play recover. It's a six. He's oh, knocked down. Fine. All right, back to so, like like I said earlier, there's a common, uncommon, rare scheme to that. There are only five recovers and five shakes in the forty card deck, so you're not going to see them a lot. And they have the best battle plans on them too. Sure. Situationally, some sure. battle plans are more universally useful, and some are situational. But that one was. You can't re-roll or gain bonuses on casualty rolls in my commander's command range. That's so that would have been a pretty good one against your tough army, but... That's dumb. I, I got your that. eliminators. I'm fine. All right, you got two pigs left, man. I got two pigs left, one of which is knocked down. The knocked down one will stand up. Uh, he will punch a drudge. Punch a drudge. Punch a drudge. The new game by Privateer Press. Hashtag right in the diaper. Hashtag right in the diaper. <laughs> hey, kids! <laughs> I'm going to play this... Uh... Do you hate mommy and daddy? <laughs> I got <gotcha>. you. <laughs> I got you. You got uh, to roll to break armor. You need I'm six. Gonna this, this doesn't need to get that dark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why right in the diaper involves. It doesn't need to, John. Your parents. <laughs> That's a feature, not a bug. Okay, <laughs> so you need six. I need six on three dice. Right. That is plenty. So right. just roll bad. Just roll one. No, I'm also tough. Okay, so I'm injured. injured. Whatever. I can't finish you off. I don't have another attack. Yep. So so this this little piggy activated. Yep, that little piggy went. Uh, so this overlord's gonna go. I'm gonna actually walk up, backstrike my guy with your creepy arms. Backstrike you with my creepy arms. Uh, -huh. uh, you know what? Because it'll help him. I'm actually gonna come walk into base with this fella. They're just quoting you now. Nick is just quoting you, of course. just repeating what you've been saying about seducing pigs from behind. I hit that dude in the butt. I anatomical him in the diaper. Uh, no tough roll, but casualty roll. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got a couple questions about the uh, the league cards. Yep. And whether they'll be available online, or they only available for the league, so on and so forth. Do you have anything left to activate, Oz? I got the guy who just you just oh bleeded. All right, so he gets to but activate. And see. He's base base with his friend, who's not knocked down, so he's going to get a plus one to this roll. Okay, I'm going to activate him. See what you get. Get you some. Stay injured, or just die. Uh, or no, you you would stay injured because you have a plus one. You yes, get a three. I have a plus one, so that's a three. So I'm injured still, but I'm going to play this. My guys get stealth when they're in uh, concealment. Okay. Which is a reroll. Okay. So you're going to reroll? Yep. Yeah. Plus one to this. All right. Now you're dead. Now I'm dead. I'm going to play this bodyguard card, which <laughs> is a reroll. All right. I got no cards in my hand. Rerolling right. for days. Yeah. You're gonna so, unlike War Machine, where it says you can't reroll or reroll, in, um, in this game, since rerolls are a resource, we do what we want. You can reroll, and it's more casual. You can reroll every 
reroll you have, and you can reroll infinitely as long as you have rerolls. Can I borrow any rerolls from your hand? No. <laughs> okay, cool. And and how about them league cards? Oh, oh you're so it's bad at this one. game. Ah, you're so does. bad at this game. So um, I've never seen anyone so bad at a game in my entire life. I mean, what what I think <laughs> will probably happen with league cards that was unfortunate is a after they've been in a league, like a while later, they might get put out in a product or something. Yeah, and. Well, since it's a casual narrative game, if you like, if both of us wanted to use Mission Specialist, we could both use Mission Specialist. It's right. just information. I can tell you that some promo cards will be exclusive in limited time. Yeah. So that will happen. All right, so you've got no guys left to activate, right? Yeah. All right, so first off, this guy who's injured is going to attempt and to get I up. And when I said in a product later, I meant the ideas of them. Like, there might be another guy that has prey, and there might yeah. be other things like that. This guy's going to try and get up. He gets a plus one, so he stays injured, because I've got a yep. buddy base to base. Yep. So he does nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, this little drudge here is going to walk around and punch this piggy in the back of the head. I like it. Just I a, don't like it really, but just a little bit. I'm of very a, supportive. A little, little, little baby rabbit punch right in the nugget. That, that hits him. Yeah. Then uh, he can he can fall down. Wow, stop rolling all fives. Give me that red. Why one. this game's no? You don't get no. You don't get the red one. You <laughs> roll a black one. I need the red one. Red one's been very good. Uh, you me. microwave that other one. They're Tony's dice. Uh, Tony? I have my own. Tony's a notorious I cheater have, and I villain. Have, I have set 121. This is 108. These I watched him dice. kill a man once for no reason. That guy's injured. All right. So he's not dead? For no reason. I'm sure there was a reason. Tony, the, I, Tony's not that irrational. And, and if you think this banter is, you know, is, is just for the live stream, oh, I have not. to listen to this all the time when yes. on the other side of the wall play testing. Sometimes it, is, we, it is identical. Right, this Sometimes guy's, we shut the door to our office so John can't hear all of us, our... This guy's con the injured guy is considered knocked down in terms of not blocking line of sight as well, correct? Yes. And injured knockdown trumps all no knockdowns. Okay. So if you roll knockdown on the casualty roll and you have a no knockdown ability, you're not knocked down. But if you're injured, you count as knocked down, even if you have so steady or whatever. My unit leader is going to activate next, and he's going to charge uh -huh. the one that's injured. And What's his melee range? One inch. So one I'm going to go into this little little pocket uh -huh. right here, so I can get into him. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to hit him because he's knocked down, and I'm going to kill him. Okay. That happened. Sad little pig. And the last thing I have to activate is this overlord back here, who's going to fail to do anything. That's kind of not what's going to happen. So I've got to protect the three because that's because we you, all know that's the three. It I've you told you the you whole game. You wouldn't lie to me. I told you the whole game. So I'm actually come stand on top in front of it. Yeah, I can't stand on top of it. Can no, I? No, okay. you can't stand on top of it. Uh, and I'm going to spray your commander. Mm -hmm. uh, I need you a got some boosts and stuff. You're going to play on. That? I need a five to hit you. I'm a fourteen. Uh, you're. I'm just lying. You're a twelve. You need a five. I know. I was a fourteen earlier I got for one other thing. Then I'm going to play two additional die cards Whoa. to go four. Really? Yes. <laughs> 46 damage. So he's taken a couple damage. He has four damage left. Yes, and this is dice minus two. Sure. Roll real bad for me. That's not That's not real bad. So if you don't mind, if you would take uh, 11 points of damage. Only 11? Yes. I'm not going to mark that, by the way. No. Because, what? No. You don't one. get the red one. The it's been microwaved by right Tony. Back. You knocked out. Okay. I love that red die, Tony. All right, man. Let's do the last round, which should go Did, pretty like, quick. Did the Penny Arcade guys leave some weird juju on those dice? Is that no. why they're rolling so good? No. Okay. So last round. Let's, last let's, round. let's finish it up. Last round. First off, uh, we need we to... We would discard cards, but we don't have any, right? Yep. And then let's dis let's roll then for... roll for priority. Yep. I still get a plus one. You haven't managed to kill my commander. I tried. Commander surviving is not necessarily the most guaranteed of all things. So That's a four. You have a four. That's a six. I have six. a six. I'll go first. Oh. Uh, so bad, I'm probably going to be dead now. Maximus will win the whole game for me, though. He'll kill your entire army. That's, Just come that's, closer. That's not going to happen. Come, I'll pass until you come closer. That's not going to happen, man. I'm sorry. I have bad news, but like your life's over. Um, so let's just do this easily. Also, you'll notice we haven't quite gone through the entire deck yet. We're, we're close. Last round, so we won't really gonna, get any more cards. This Mindbender is going to charge. That's a drudge, not a Mindbender. That mindbender drudge. Mind I automatically hit because you're knocked down. Power 11, your armor 14, so anything but trip 1s makes you make a casualty roll. Mm -hmm. So casualty roll for your commander. Uh huh. Okay. You left that red die there again. That's fine. I'm just trying to block you off from the 3. Knock right. down. You're knocked down. Back okay. to you. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. What, what, are, what are my cards going to let me, how, how are they going to let me win? I don't know, dude. Patrick, yes, the command deck is friendly to most card sleeves. They're typical cards. Yeah, they're standard oh, yeah. size. 
And, and they don't have anything like they've got a, uh, I'm going to put this under here. They have this, the sweet logo on the back, which means you can use like sleeves that have art and stuff on them. You only need the front end for anything useful. Yeah. Oh, Maximus. Yeah, Maximus, bring it on, bro. You just going to run? Eh, I got to, I got to kill that guy to let this guy do stuff. Yeah. To let me win. Cause that's the three. Cause the, you haven't been lying this entire Not time. at all. Not once. He's going to, he's going to try and clear up his friend. All right, so he's just going to walk here. over there. He's not within two of, of his leader. Okay. Swing at me at the butt. I'm, I'm, def, swinging, I'm def nine. You need anything but snake eyes. Swinging at your butt. And if I survive this round and you haven't won, I win the game. Yes. Okay. Your goal is to keep me from discovering... The ham. The ham. You hit me. I didn't roll snake eyes. Uh, anything you Weapon roll... Master 13. I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it. Rolling roll dice is fine. There we go. Lots what of the hell, Maximus? <laughs> Calm down, bro. Dead uh, but tough. I'm tough. So I get a re-roll on this. I'm oh, knocked you're down. Knocked down. I need you to be out of the way. That's not going to happen. So, it's your turn. You're going to spray me and kill me, so I can't activate him and 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 you win the game. Uh, I'm actually just going to. You're going to walk up and punch me. I'm going to walk up and punch you because you're not. It's actually easier because you're knocked down yep. and you get cover against range and your base depth. Well, so I don't get cover against sprays, but I get base depth. So I'm going to walk up and stab you, and then I have anatomical uh, yep. on the overlords. Let me double check that I have anatomical on the overlords. I have anatomical on the overlord, so just straight up casually, casually, roll, casually roll. No re-roll. Oh, that's a dead. He's dead? You got no, any recovers? No, he's not. He's recovered. He's only knocked down. I made it a six. He can't get out of this situation and win me the game. Nope. He can take a free strike. He still can't get there. He can run. Sure. You're knocked down, though. I know. I have a shake. No. Oh. There's a shake right there. If you want to take two free strikes, bro, I'm down. That guy's knocked down. He doesn't free strike. I mean, okay. Sure. I got this. I got this. Are you going to run? probably don't. If I run, one, three. No, I could, I could make it. Okay. So one free strike? Yeah. Do any of these cards help me? Mm, no. <laughs> nope. None of these help me. So he's just going to do it. You're going to miss. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play this card to boost my attack roll for the free strike. Okay. You could still roll all ones. I need to roll literally all ones. That's not all ones. There's a one in there. Uh, and then anatomical. So yep. the casualty roll will happen yep. like right here. Right there. Do it, Oz. No tough. So knocked down. He's knocked down. But it doesn't like, matter because that's his activation. Right there. All right, man. And then you've activated everyone. I'm going to activate everyone and, uh, and I didn't win. Yeah, and I'm not going to like play out everyone else's activation <laughs> just to see could, if I can kill people. Like, that's not cool. see how much more ham you so, uh, have. So, uh, great game, yeah. sir. Yeah. Great game. Which, uh, wait, 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 flip over that token. Oh, this token? Yeah. Was you that was the that one. Out? This was the three the yeah, whole of time. Of course it was. I sent guys to both. So, uh, Oz, why don't you tell them? Okay, so Company of Iron releases in October the 25th. And next Tuesday, we will do this kind of thing again. We're doing it for like six weeks or so. So we're going to be playing some games on Tuesdays in the mornings. And uh, thank you all for watching and tune in on Thursday and watch Dallas paint some stuff. Yeah. And play Company of Iron. This game's dope. In October. And thanks for sharing, everybody. That's super cool. We're done.